What's up? H. Dizzle here, and you're listening to The Men's View. I'm here with my boy, Bonafide Hustler. What's up? Bonafide Hustler here. And sitting in, we got the man with the 18-inch penis from Asia. Woo! I think I looked at the guy with the 18-inch penis. I oh. didn't. I don't have the 18-inch penis. Oh, like I was man. on the show. Hey, check out episode one where I looked at that guy's dick that one time. Yes, <laughs> that was a. Uh, this will made you look at it. Hey, I, that was a voluntary look, right? There. Enough penis talk, cause we oh. gotta introduce CMFK producer. What's up? What's up? <laughs> this dude loves seeing his own face on the <laughs> camera, man. But yeah, we had technical issues, so we had to start late. So it might be a short show, but we got Metalhead possibly calling in. But I see Woo over there tapping his little broken, cut-up finger. Yeah, it's fucked up, dude. How'd you, how'd you cut your finger off? Check this out, dude. Oh, I didn't actually fucking do this. This was one of my coworkers the other day, and I'm actually really fucking mad about this. Because uh, I volunteered to sweep the kitchen just to be nice, to clean everything. And a coworker fucking launched a knife off of her fucking cutting board and sliced my finger. I had to get five stitches. On purpose or accident? It was an accident. She was trying to be cute and shit and boost herself up on the countertop and ended up flipping her, her fucking cutting board, which had a fucking oh, sharp shit. ass knife on there. And it came over and sliced my finger. Do you finger. think it had a chance of going like to your face maybe or anything no, like that? No, it was Would too it have low. any kind of power or no? Nah, it, it was low. My hand was about. Midway. I mean, I had I had like an apron on, so that would have protected my. This body. is the sushi restaurant you work at, right? This is are a, these sharp it's knives? Not just, these are fucking sharp knives. Could right? it ha- could it have traveled to your dong area and maybe Probably. done some damage? Probably, dude. If That's it was why my hand perfectly is like lined my up. My hand is always in front of my dong, just in case that so happens. If a oh, I really want sushi from your fucking place. <laughs> <Okay>. God, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to touch my roll. I don't want. He'd be like that either. pizza guy from last week that rubbed his balls. Yeah, oh my god! He mistakenly makes a sushi with a little tiny dong in there. <laughs> <laughs> I rub my, my dong on the sushi piece. This, is, this, moist, this, this rice is so moist. <laughs> <laughs> Are you implying I have sweaty balls, dude? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Fuck you. Right. That's how he gets the uh, seaweed to stick around. <laughs> when you seal it up, you rub your scrotum on there. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how bad is that cut? It's. I had to get five stitches. It's oh, not you had to get five stitches? stitches? I had to get stitches for it, yeah. Did Everybody, you go to a hospital for it? or did no, I went to one of those clin- uh, oh, yeah, clinics. clinics. Yeah. And so it, you got charged $960 for that then? No, uh, <laughs> my restaurant's going to be paying for it. So. Really? This? Yeah. When was this? Today? Y- this was yesterday night, dude. And you're already back at work today? Oh, yeah. I had to work today. That's yeah. why they stitched it up. Everybody they're, they're was short on staff, oh, probably. <laughs> did you freak no. out when you saw it? Uh, no, I actually laughed because I was like, wow, that's like the deepest cut I've ever had. But it, was it wasn't one of those things, things where you're like, I'm just going to put some Neosporin and go to bed and wake up and it's going to be a little bit better. No, that's what I thought. Like when I first, so it started gushing blood and I was like, okay, I'll wash it in the sink real quick. And that hurts even more. I know that. It didn't hurt that bad. I actually don't have much feeling. I might have fucked just up agree some with me. This, yeah, it's, <laughs> but the, so blood just kept on coming out. I put a bandaid on there, put Neosporin on. You know, this is so interesting, him talking about how you put a bandaid on his finger. Well, okay, all right. <laughs> That's a good know, story, dude. Some blood. No, I want to know, was it in the sushi line? No, no, this okay, was in the back, Okay, it was in the man. back, good. No, the this thing that after really... After hours, right? This was right before service. Right what? before service, yeah. So then was, you didn't work that shift then, did you? No, I, my shift was over. This was at the end of my shift, my fucking look. But oh, okay. uh, the the thing the thing that pissed me off the most was the cook. She was like, she was trying to deflect it. She was like, "Oh, it wasn't. It's not that bad. It wasn't really my fault and shit like that." That really pissed me off. But I let her go because she's kind of hot. Is it which Asian is shit? Shitty. No, it's a white chick. So this might be like your in. This like, might be my end, right? Because <laughs> you have a hard time getting laid, right? Good. We're looking at your Tinder earlier. Oh, yeah. Now you need to make her look like, like get her all sorry feeling. Like Every day you see her, just be like, look. <laughs> just pity, just pity sex. I don't yeah, know if there I you go. do that, man. I don't know if you I You let me use that. your Tinder, like, what, 10 minutes ago? Yeah. That was, that was so I was basically like living vicariously through your tiny wing. My tiny <laughs> on, ass wing. On dude. your, uh, on, no, he has an 18-inch. He liked it, though, dude. He liked it, though, Bonafide, right? Dude, honestly, the funny thing is I actually knew someone on there. That's fucking free. That's okay. I mean, it's like what, what it is. Mid mid thirties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of desperate. I, I put. I said thirty two to thirty eight, and we looked at it, and I already found one person I knew. That's, that's a bad thing about sad, Tinder dude. because that's it it sad. goes by how, like the geographic area within certain mileage. Right. So, so like you're, you you search. This chick was like five miles down the road. That's man. what I'm saying. <laughs> it's gonna be people you see all the time and yeah. around so it's kind of creepy because like you see a girl by uh, walking by and you you're in your head like okay she wants to get laid that girl right there what? no tinder's all about like meaningful relationships bro. yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> wholesome, 
wholesome. The 1940s style white picket fence. Mom, I met her on Tinder. Look, she's so nice. Hey, before we start the show, I want to give a quick shout out to one of our fans out there. And we're going to send him a sticker. We want to give a shout out to Kathy DiGlio. I think that's how you say it. She got turned on to her show. She's actually 54 years old, I think. think And she got turned on to the show by... I think she said it was her 13-year-old nephew or 14 years oh, old. Yeah. But we want to give a shout-out to her nephew, Colin Decker. What's up, Colin? Yeah, Colin. Hey, thanks for being a fan, wow. man. And Colin, hey, go review yeah. and rate the show on iTunes if you really like it that much because <laughs> we need some reviews. I, I was hearing There'll how- There'll be more donk talk yeah. with better reviews. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll, you, you think this Kathy chick is on uh, Tinder? Uh, she's on my Facebook. Okay. Yeah, I'll hook you Just up. Just as good, dude. Kathy, if you like Asian guys with- With uh, cut hands. Cut fingers. Cut ass fingers. Yeah. He'll finger you with the other hand. Don't worry. <laughs> I can't get this infected. This can't get wet. Yikes. What are you trying to say, man? <laughs> uh, that I'm sexually incompetent. You might have. Oh, never mind. You might be the one <laughs> infecting people with that. Oh, come on. A lot of yours. Jesus. I think I might. I would much rather have a ball pizza than a bloody sushi roll. I, man, me too, dude. <laughs> Due to a cut me finger. And, and that guy was young. You can so get hepatitis from your shit. Like yeah. the, 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 the dong rubbing, like Blood you might rubbing. just get a pube in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it, oh, okay. it was a young guy, so he, he probably. And he. Didn't look like he ever got laid, so he probably didn't have any like transmissible diseases. Oh, you mean the the, the pizza okay. dude? Austin, yeah, oh. Austin. Whatever. I think Austin would have oh. been would have had a clean ass dong. You, you know, know what? He lives is... in Austin, so we might be able to get him on the show. I should contact. Dude, him. I'd like no to joke. see that guy. CMFK, would you let him in the studio? Hell you know what yeah. we should do? We should get the pizza that he was doing it on and put it on eBay. <laughs> dude, people <laughs> put dumb things on eBay, <laughs> and get ridiculous amounts of money. Check this out. You remember? Th- did I tell you about this last podcast? How there was that football player that only tipped twenty cents. Oh, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. His receipt made it on eBay. Yeah, it was at a hundred grand. Wow. Yeah, already. but nobody, nobody paid for that. Dude, I there actually, were a ton of bids, bro. Right. Those yeah, are bro. always those like no. fake those, bids. Those no, dude's not yeah. shill billing us. I'm shill billing. Right. Or sure. Somebody wanted a piece of paper. You're saying, man. Right. I mean, maybe they really hated the guy. But yeah, hey, Colin, send us send us your address uh, through our email at the show at theguyspot dot com. What am I talking about? <laughs> Dude. Send us send us your email to hdizzle at the com and we'll send you a sticker out there. Man, I'm having issues at my house right now. What kind of issues? <laughs> I, I, I live in an apartment on the third floor. Oh. And I got these. You're balling. Yeah. I got You're these. You're at the top. Yeah. Already. You made it. <laughs> 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 well, it started at the bottom, man. <laughs> now I'm here. Now I'm at the third floor. floor. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, I, I had these people that moved. I, I lived there like two years now with no issues. And I have this lady that moved in below me now. How old is she? One lady or two ladies? There's three, three women. Yeah. Three, three women. women. So it's two older women. Uh, it's like 50s, 60s. CMFK, if you're going to talk into the mic, you have to do it directly here. Look. Balling for two. Balling Why don't you adjust it? Years. Why don't you adjust it so it's. Okay, so he put it here. And <laughs> CMFK, look. Balling for two years. Look. What, that, the, what look, the fuck does that, that mean? That. For two years. What are you saying right now? What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, so it's three women, right? It's this two older women and their daughter who's kind of, Dude, that is like seriously distracting. That's like the fifth time you've done it. And then like you having these side conversations with me. I don't understand. I can't have a side conversation now. Go. But why don't you just leave it and not move it? That way whenever you need to talk, I don't hear like a <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Why don't you just leave it? Because I can't fucking talk. It doesn't fucking work. Bro. But it does. We hear you on here. So, yeah, there's like three women that moved underneath me. So, there's two older women and a younger daughter. I don't know which. I kind of. Yeah, now it's getting interesting. Yeah. So, she's kind of hot, but she's chunky. But, anyways. Okay. Now you have to explain that complaint. out, though. Hold on. Yeah. Hey. What is kind of hot but chunky? What the hell that does that mean? Like, if sense. she lost weight, she'd be hot. Name a celebrity that's kind of hot but chunky. Oh, shit. There's dude. no such celebrity. Then how do you get. If a celebrity got chunky that was hot, they'd be kind of hot but chunky. Uh, <laughs> like, if Sandra Bullock got chunky. Sounds like a Campbell's soup, dude. Like, yeah. hot and chunky. <laughs> what are we talking about? Like, Rosie O'Donnell hot right here? No. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to think. That's not hot and chunky. There's not a single one out there. How about uh, the Ozzy Osbourne daughter? Wasn't oh, yeah. she kind of like cute? No, but she. What, curvy, yeah, I guess right, so because like she lost weight. And she's, no, she's she when she lost weight, she was kind of hot. But and when she skinny. was chunky, she was still kind of good looking because okay, she has so, that look. Like Christina Hendricks. 
right? Oh yeah, who's that's that? a girl she's, from Mad Men. She's like curvy and yeah, so she's, she's, uh, she's voluptuous. That's what dude, it is. Dude, you couldn't even say that girl's chunky at all, dude. No, that's not chunky. That's that's just Katrina Hendricks. No, there's good. that one singer that's kind of hot but chunky. Adelie. Adele. No way, dude. No, no, Adele. No, no, no. That's Adele. All right, dude, you're, Anyways, you're gonna get fired so, on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so these people are, paid, are are living underneath me, right? For two years, no issues. They move out. These three move in. Day one, I start getting complaints from this apartment. Like, you guys are too noisy, blah, blah, blah. You so know, they come up to you and tell you? No, they they constantly complain to the apartment. Oh. So are they straight lesbian? What do you, we know about these people? I are think I think straight? it's a single mom lesbians. and a roommate situation. That's what I think. Unhappy lesbians? Like, what are they? It's just unhappy single mom with her daughter and a friend. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So, yeah, they're... they're, they're well, who's the third person then? Grandma? A friend. Oh, I assume it's just a friend. I don't know. It doesn't look like them. The two look oh, okay. I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So they're all living together, and finally the complaints. We had enough, so we go and complain back to the apartment, right? After they complained on you, right? And we're like, we're just walking around because that's literally what we're doing. We walk around, right? My daughter stays up to your like daughter 10 doesn't walk. She runs, bro. Like she makes kid noises. She, like every she, kid, she does. does what a kid does and jumps off couches and does right. crazy things. She, that means you're not walking around. You're no, jumping around. She doesn't around. jump off couches. She, she at most she might walk fast, like a kind of jogging walk. But when you jump off a couch, it sounds but like she, a fucking anvil, like hitting the. Like I'm pretty I, sure. I guess, but that's just living, right? Why is your daughter so fat? <laughs> <laughs> Why does she sound like an anvil hitting the yeah. floor? <laughs> but, but would, you, would you consider that just regular living? Yeah. Yeah, in an apartment. Okay, look, in college apartments, yeah, but in like, you know, like where you live, it's a nice place. People at certain time, like around, I would say, 830 or later, those kind of things should be reserved and just kind of like so what are, dying down. Okay, then that that's way. me. That's my question. And do I tie up my daughter to a pole? What am I supposed to do? Beat her? Should I beat her like that football player? I mean, there's no other options. Yeah, you I can, either you tie can her hang or ropes her. from the ceiling. It could be like American Ninja atta- Warrior I'd in have place. To attach and her place. She arms can like and legs. swing around yeah, from places. Great upper yeah. body strength. So I, I'm getting really annoyed with these people. Yeah, you're right. Because it's kind of you're right. It can't. It's it's normal living. Right, right. You can't do anything. It's about normal it. living. Right. I'm not going to tell my daughter. Right. And hold her down. No, you can't do that. It's a two year old kid. Yeah, you can't do that. Aren't two year olds supposed to be in bed by eight? No. You sure? Ten o'clock's her bedtime. Wow, that's yeah, kind of late for it. I, so, okay. like, I'm now, now, now. What they do? Their new thing is they they bang into our ceiling with like poles or whatever. And this is the that's second time I've had a living shit. situation where the person below me does this. So this sounds like a hotel now. This doesn't even sound like you're living in an apartment. This sounds like a hotel. Where like, do you get a you know, spring break somewhere hotel, and you're just fucking hearing people knock on you? Right. So this is getting out of control, right? Yeah. So one day my daughter falls off right the couch. Right? Like she just slips. She's sitting on the back and she slips and she hits her head on the floor. Makes wow. a loud what, noise. What time? Nine, nine forty-two. Okay, close to bedtime. Yeah, it's getting and close to bedtime. It's getting close to somebody's bedtime, <laughs> not my fucking bedtime. He's I gonna sleep put someone. Is, he's gonna put someone in the dirt, dude. <laughs> so, so next thing I know, I hear like banging into the ceiling. Right. And I flip the fuck out. What? What is that? It happens every show. Like it's eight. It's like nine. a nail, probably. <laughs> right. so you flip out. You go down there. No, so I flip out. So now I'm pissed. So I start. My daughter's screaming at the top of her lungs, right? Yeah, so now I true. run around my apartment, jumping as high as I can into the air, wow. and then doing like a plant with my feet to where I bring it down as hard as I can into the floor to where it's what? like the whole apartment shaking. And I do it all over the apartment in in about twenty seconds, right? Yeah. So I'm freaking out of my mind, angry at this point because that's so disrespectful. Oh These people, gosh. that's how they're communicating. Yeah. Is complaining to the apartment and then banging into ceilings. It's passive. These are supposed to be adults, man. exactly. Passive right. Aggressive. Okay. So next thing I know, after my banging around, I hear like a door slam from downstairs on their apartment. Really. And then I hear like <laughs> running up the stairs, like the whole stair, and I hear like pounding on my my door. Right. So these people are. Picked. So I knew it's them, and I I'm. Furious at this point, and I just run, dude. Run, open the door, and I'm like foaming at the mouth. Yeah. And it's these two kind of like, I guess, in their 40s late women. What okay. was the look on their face at that moment? Well, they were like, I they opened the door. tried to be nice? And I, no, I'm foaming. I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm like that <laughs> when the door opens. Yeah. And they start with, do you know what time it is? I said, I don't give a fuck what time it is. <laughs> and they're like, dude, dude I... I go, don't you fucking run up to my apartment like this. I'm like, this is fucking Texas. That's how you get shot. 
And they're yeah. like, well, we wake up at four in the morning. I said, I don't give a fuck what time you wake up at. <laughs> Jesus. Because That's That's I don't irrelevant. wake up. Yeah. I don't wake up at that time. Yeah. We got to sleep at eight. I said, I don't give a fuck what time. <laughs> and I'm yelling like you hear like echoing. Yeah. Oh, wow, man. Around like yeah. the other buildings. Damn. Oof. And then like their face drops like, oh, my God, we can't believe this. Oh, my God. They, they just they, they can't believe they I'm say, talking they to saying, them. Oh, my yes, God. Dude, like, yeah, you can picture uh, some uh, old ass white yeah. ladies saying that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I just. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? And then they it's have like good. a look of disgust on their face like this person's like out of his mind. And yeah. then, like, I'm, I'm like, trying to break out of there to get at him. Like, right. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Who's holding you back, man? My wife. She's holding me back. Oh, okay. And then my oh. wife, like, yanks me back, yeah. opens the door, and she said, get the fuck out of my doorway, and slams it in their face. Wow. Damn. And we just hear them saying, they're going, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, of course, God. they go complain to it. the apartment. Now, we have to talk to the manager, and, and she kind of understands. She's like, yeah, it's apartment living. I told them after 10, don't do anything, blah, blah, blah. So, now... Every time my wife complains about this, every time they leave the, the house, my wife's like, I think they're slamming the door real hard because we hear it, right? Right. I'm like, I don't think so. I think that's just the door, right? So, like, yesterday we walked down and I'm out by my car to where you can see their front door. Right. And I guess they think we're still in my apartment. We see the lady come out and just slam the door. It's like obvious she's just slamming it, right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, this bitch is doing it on purpose. Yeah. What? Anyways, I'm here setting up the show tonight i get a call from my wife like she's pissed she's like when you get home tonight you need to slam that door i said what's going on oh our, our daughter dropped her ipad at this was nine forty again really okay drops so just the an ipad, iPad then. right the ipad drops and my daughter uh, my wife says she hears the banging of the pole again oh, Jesus. God, that's so fucking into the sill so really shitty, yeah dude. and then and she how- hears the garbage disposal turn on and yeah. stay on in their apartment, and then they start running around all over the place trying to make noise. Wow. How, so the, someone's going to get evicted. It's just a matter of who is going to be. Right. This is so So shitty. I don't know this how to handle like... it. I'm telling my wife, we just keep complaining back to them. Don't, don't retaliate. Just complain. Yeah. Because we're not doing anything. We're just living. That, yeah. Yeah, but that to happens to me all the time. I, I end up living above an older person, and that's my advice to the people listening. If you're a younger guy or you move around, or if you're just a normal person – do not move above an older woman, especially, because that's what they tend to do. They tend to complain. And, and what's happening now? Because, like, the economy and stuff, people are losing their homes or whatever. Yeah. You're having these people lived in these kind of lifestyles where they're kind of privileged, you know, right. to where they've had a house, they've grown up, and now they're getting forced into apartments. Right. So and they pissed. cannot live with other people. They just do not understand that you're going to hear other noises. They expect people to me. That's the ultimate in selfishness. They're trying to get true. their schedule right. yeah. to mine. You know what you can do? You can like set up your big ass zoom on your camera. Don't you have a video recording camera yeah, yeah. and just aim it right at the door and try to get as many instances of them of slamming them the slamming door. It. Yeah. yeah that's and a then good idea. put it all together in final cut and <laughs> show it to the apartment complex just, back. If you don't do anything about this, you're going to be hearing from my lawyer. Right. And they were going to be like, all right, like, they you got know, evidence, sex, my you know? apartment complex is owned by these really powerful attorneys in uh, California. They own like a bunch of apartments in town all over America. Yeah, so it's like you can't pull that. I'm going to sue this shit. Out. Wait a second. You're no, a fucking. No, no, no. <laughs> Never mind. But, but the thing <laughs> is, these these types of uh, companies are generally run by like managers who right. are supposed to take care of that problem before it even gets to that level. Right. Your other Your other solution, and this sucks because I used to be an insurance agent, is you can get some sort of like policy, right? A really high policy with a high liability, right? And it only costs you like 20 bucks a month. And leave the bathroom on. Like leave the tub and the stopper <laughs> right. on it and just leave it going. Right. And just be like, oh, I forgot it. And then when I know I'm moving it'll out. flood in their apartment like When I know I'm moving out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. But you're going to get a ding it's on so your- It's so risky though. <laughs> it is. You're going to get a ding somewhere. On the insurance. But front. it won't be a bad one. It right. won't be a huge- It'll just be but like- But now that oh, you I'm, mentioned it on the show, like the insurance will be like, well- you, we're we're gonna have to deny your claim because it was premeditated. If they listen to the show, <laughs> yeah. see, I'm just saying. Like, no, that is like a badass. If idea. you want to be like, I'm sure so someone in our like, audience I'm might gonna do get it. you back, right? Because they're you like, you could do that. It's when I know I'm moving out of there. Yeah, flooded like the few days before because yeah. they're fucked. They're gonna have to leave their apartment. It's gonna be a big headache for them, and I'm the fuck out of there. And financially, <laughs> I'm I'm covered. Yeah, I mean, you could. That's do- a good idea. <laughs> what if that apartment? Like that. What if that apartment's just really well insulated though, and it it doesn't leak? Oh, it'll leak in there. It'll, it'll leak. You know what's crazy? How does it get in there? It's just rafters and, and boards and stuff. Yeah, uh, it's gravity. When we originally gravity. moved okay. in there, 
like there was something wrong in the apartment where it actually would make noise. The floor was like coming up off like the the planks. Yeah. So they were like every time we'd walk, they hear like like an old house moving. But yeah. now it's fixed, so they hear any bump. You know, like our foot falls or mm. like the toilet seat comes down. We hear like banging into the ceiling. It's just a fucking bunch of crybabies. Dude, just let dude. down the toilet seat gently, dude. Like <laughs> it's like the nice thing to do. The semi hot fed. Don't take a <laughs> fucking hot steam and dump and then like slam your toilet seat. When down. I lived in Houston. Wait a minute. That would mean that you were taking the dump with it up. Yeah. You can do yeah. that. You, yeah, can, you can do that. Yeah, you can take a dump. <laughs> you can take a then dump. Then throw it up and then throw it down real quick. You know what's the worst or thing? Can, it happened to me the other day because I sit down when you when I pee. I don't know. I did, do that too. Did know yeah, that? I mean, d- Why depends. do you do that? I only stand up in public or when I'm at CSK. Why do you really? sit? Are you, because I have in my, my freshman year in college, right, is when I changed everything because I, I, I got up to pee in the middle of the night, walked to the bathroom. While I was peeing, I passed out, broke my jaw, broke my what? nose, broke my teeth, everything. <laughs> like That was my freshman year with a jaw wired shot. So right. I'm like, this will never happen to me again. So I just sit down and pee. And it's so clean. You don't you don't have to pee spray everywhere. You know, you don't have yeah. to clean that up. It's super like, clean. If you have a it's, boner, yeah, you got to pee sitting down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those little yeah. Just, spray just pee sitting down, you'll just look like just like Which a girl. Which is what happened to me last night. Looking like a girl. I usually wrong, never man. get this morning wood type stuff. Very rarely, <laughs> I guess I get middle of the night wood because I had to pee real bad yeah. last night. So I woke up at three three in the night, and I decided to go in the dark, sit down with a boner on my toilet. Yeah, <laughs> and the seat was up, and I fell right into it oh, into the water. Come on, man! And you get dude. that cold like feeling around your yeah. ass. It's yeah. horrible. And That's then did bad. you take a shower or not? No, I went straight back to bed. <laughs> yeah. No, but that water's clean. I fumbled around in the dark. That water's took clean. Some fucking micro poo particles into I the don't bed think, with you. No, that's because fine. it was already yeah it was it, that was the way I microscopic my poop particles, <laughs> no, no, but, dude. but shit gets anywhere anyway if you flush your toilet after taking a shit that shit flies everywhere it's gonna be all over you no matter what what are you talking about if you're well, sitting you on to, the uh, toilet kind of, you, you kind of, sit on the toilet when you flush even when you sit oh then it's gonna get all over your ass wait a second but, you sit on the toilet and flush it no 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 you take a shit get up flush the toilet it gets launched everywhere what, you, what kind of toilet are you talking there's about? A, I think there's a Mythbusters on it. You should check it out. It's pretty horrifying. Mythbusters We are fucking shits? covered in shit right now. And shit's not that bad for you. In little amounts, our immune systems are getting strengthened Why don't by you it. just rub shit into that finger wound of yours? We'll see how bad it is <laughs> I mean, it's not real bad. It won't, that's that's going to be more than the microscopic you oh know, my God. particles that are coming out. Hey, let me ask you this. Woo, open do you yeah. wipe your ass standing up or sitting down? I can do both, dude. Have, okay, because I didn't know this. I thought everybody wiped their ass sitting down. God. Yeah, it's like fifty-fifty. Some people they nah, stand 50, up. I stand up sometimes. And then they, uh, how the fuck would you do that? Describe this. How, uh, and so why, why are you picking one over the other? When does this situation arise? When you stand up, arise? your butt cheeks go together. Like. Yeah, no, yeah, these yeah. guys they 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 stand up like this, and then they kind of squat back huh. to where the nah, cheeks I spread stand apart. Straight up, dude. And then they wipe it. Yeah. You know how I saw that? Whenever I lived in the dorms in college. Yeah. I uh, kind of walked past a stall. To check if it was somebody was in there or not, and there's a guy standing up, squatting, wiping his ass. Yeah, I'm like, so I, I asked somebody, I'm like, do maybe you he w- took a shit standing up too. <laughs> no, seriously, because like maybe there was piss all over the fucking rails, or uh, anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's possible. But I, I asked other people, and you they're like, that, like sometimes 50, you have to do that concerts. If you yeah, ask a hundred people, here. half of them stand up and wipe their ass, yeah. and they shit stand up to wipe their ass. It's crazy. Crazy. Where did you conduct this poll? I've asked people, like Wu, right, right here, you sit down, Wu stands up. I CMFK. can do both. I, I wipe my ass sitting down too sometimes. So what situation he's like calls? A high, he's like a Prius. Of yeah, shit. He's like a, he's a little bit of both. <laughs> <I'm> a hybrid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a hybrid. <laughs> Jesus. No, yeah, it's like sometimes I don't want to oh touch God. the toilet seat because you run the risk of touching the toilet seat if you're wiping while sitting down, right? So this is only an emergency. If you're not you're precise. No, no, no. Sometimes it's just based on feeling, man. Sometimes I feel like standing up. Sometimes I don't. This is really odd. Yeah, see, I, 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 odd? I'm telling you, if you ask a hundred people, probably forty eight of them will say, "Okay, I, I can, stand maybe." Up. I mean, I know half people when you ask them, "Do you fold the toilet paper before you wipe your ass, or do you just crunch it all up?" You oh, know, have you ever asked people that question? Wait, people that's crunch fucking, it up? Yeah, crunch that's, it all up, like just. That's, up, and then wait, like, that doesn't make fuck. sense because swear, then swear. it'll swear. unravel in a random spot. Trust me, dude. As you're wiping your ass. No, that's Trust the me. thing. They get a crumple, throw yeah. it away. Crumple, throw yeah. it away. They don't. They don't like rotate. No, they crumple it, you know? and then they wipe and then they throw the whole crumple. Why away. are you polling people if they crumple their toilet paper? No, that's an actual poll that's been done. Do you crumple yours? No, you fold it. Yeah, everyone folds it, right? Hey, we're civilized people, man. Dude, I'm risky. I I go flat. Completely. What are you what? talking about? Like I don't fold it. 
I just go straight. Oh yeah, flat. with with like the I'm high cheap, quality. Dude. I'm trying to save oh, money. With, wait, with what? The thick he I'm so he's cheap. He's like one segment of the toilet paper and wipes his ass no, with that one segment. No, you know segment, how cheap right? I am? I'm so cheap that I'll take a square and I'll start at one edge and, and I'll oh get a little piece off and I'll move it over and get another piece. And oh, I want to get that fuck, whole. Dude. I want to get that whole toilet paper. Oh, like I'll get 90% off it with that's one piece. That's disgusting, dude. And then the second piece, I'll wet it down. How much do you get on your ass? Because that's going to fucking, as you scoot no. it over, it's going to get on your ass a little more. Listen. I eat so much fiber now. This is what I did. There's this thing called, uh, oh I don't God. know, what, what is that white stuff I eat that swells up when you throw it in water? It's called... Bread? It's, no, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's called Isab Gol in uh, what? Indian. It's called Isab Gol. Isab My dad Gold. used to eat it. Oh, oh, Ficillium husk. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I eat yeah. a ton of this Ficillium husk, and I throw some chia seeds in there, and then wow, I get it. You're like ODing fiber, on dude. fiber, yeah, bro. That's right. Good. Come I, on, man. I eat like half a bucket of that like no, build a log cabin, your, your dude. turds come out like it's uh, like those smoothie machines, and you literally barely have to wipe your ass. If you wipe your ass, there's almost nothing on there if you eat that much of that stuff. How do you know? Did you look really closely? There's nothing. My toilet paper is clean. Have you inspected clean. it really close to your eyes and nose? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, sure. haven't, I haven't I don't believe it. you. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's just too the, – logistically, I think it's too difficult you should and use inefficient. It. What As do you like, mean? You know, animals use their dung to like build houses. You need to start like. Yeah, why not? But yeah, <laughs> that's solid <laughs> enough. It'll hold, man. It'll what do you hold. think I'm playing around with my poop in there? I think <laughs> using one sheet of paper. No, it's one sheet to get almost all of it out that's of there. That's nuts, man. I don't believe it. And then you know what he does tough. just so he doesn't have to flush? He fishes them out with a hook and he like oh. throws them outside and they land Plus perfectly. They don't affect any grass or nothing. You know what? They're I dried should out. fish them uh. out. <laughs> <laughs> he fishes them out so he doesn't have to flush. Jesus. Dude, let me tell you something about oriental people. Uh, you know oriental people? Yeah. They yeah, don't okay. flush number one usually. You know that? No, I don't I either. Don't, I don't I flush, don't. but that's just Me and my I'm wife lazy. don't. You don't flush number ones. We don't flush number Not ones. Not really. Like how many number ones until you flush it? Until number two hits Oh it. my God. Really? Yeah. Ugh. I think I went to your bathroom one time and there might have been five number ones in there. And I was like, fuck or this. And I flushed <laughs> my number one in there real quick. Yeah. I was like, I can't take it. Because the smell was kind of like no, no, it's putrid it's urine. Bad. I was like, this is not good. Like if you come to our house unannounced, there's going to be like brown rings around the toilet and like yeah, yellow yeah, like yeah. mold. <laughs> because literally yeah. we're, trying to save, we're, trying to, we're trying to save water. It sounds great for your kid. I mean. I literally, I think I've saved 30 bucks in the last year by not flushing. Okay. Oh my All god! Right, or I either like that, or my water bill will be super high if I flush. But think about it: every time you pee, yeah, you flush like three it's a gallons. One point five. One point five. One point seven. That is usually. a shitload. That's, yeah, that's a lot of water. That's a shitload of water. And I pee a lot. You should get one of those low flow toilets or something. Yeah, you right? can do a low flow. Yeah. Or you could put something in the actual toilet, like a that displaces the water, and you can get a faster right, flush right. out of it. Oh, okay, it's smaller. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, still kind of gross, though. But uh, to me, he that's... lives in a fucking third world country, man. Like in 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 America, <laughs> he's like he's got enough <laughs> money. But man. honestly, like, do you ever freak out that your life? Yeah, you have a pretty decent salary, but you gotta pay for everything now yourself, right? Your wife doesn't work, right? Right. So this is like, you have money, but you have trouble saving now, right? Because right. you're it's like a at lot the of cusp. tension. It's a lot of tension. So you gotta hang the turds, and you gotta yeah. fucking. That'll give me an extra. Dry like, the toilet paper. At the end of the month, I'll be left with a little bit of money if I don't flush. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about how what you're willing to endure, right? Like we can live in luxury if we want to, but you know, a little bit of hardship doesn't hurt. But if you were just, if all you knew was just growing up in the wilderness, you would never know any of this stuff. Oh, that you exists in the first care. place, yeah, and you would yeah. get, you would get by just fine. Yeah, Look, absolutely. This is how and I you live. Would have kids, and you would have all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Tribes Shit. have kids. They're perfectly fucking Shit fine. They the weave leaves. fucking. They don't even wipe their things. asses, man. Yeah. No, they shit in holes in the ground. Yeah, but they and then they use like river water, and then they use their hands and like. That's you know? actually way more efficient than using but, fucking toilet paper. Yeah, but then that's on your hands. But then you just go to the you river. Just wash and you your just hands. Wash yeah. your hands. Yeah. It, it, if my whenever my wife and kids go out of town, this is how I live. Oh my god! I turn off the AC, <laughs> and then I and I'm being dead serious. You're out of here. All mind. the lights are off in the house, and I walk around with a flashlight. That's from room to room <laughs> unless like, okay. So if I'm, it, let's say I'm in my little, uh, laundry room where my right. computer is. Yeah. That light will be on, but, but the, the rest, rest of, of the house is pitch black and Jeez. no AC. So if I want to use the bathroom, I'll walk with a flashlight to the bathroom, turn on the bathroom light. But then you turn off your office light before you go there. Yeah. Dude, you are cheap. Yeah. Dude, if I'm someone, tr- if someone to wanted to wife- rob you, they would open the door and be like, what the fuck is going on? No, if somebody, have you seen my couch recently? Yeah. 
It's all no, shredded. No, it's worse now. It's like we bought this really cheap couch, right? And the most uncomfortable couch known to man. Yeah. It's well, we we got a new dude. one coming in that's really comfortable. So sure. yeah, yeah. You we had, we had, had to, to order this. You go we, for like baller looking things that are like a doll, like one hundred ninety nine dollars, <laughs> like for an entire <laughs> couch set. But it looks badass on a picture because you took the sick ass pictures of right. your previous house. Right. And I was like, what the fuck? Right. But, but then it, it you sit down apart. like five times and there's like already a crack in it. Yeah. No, this thing, like the le- leather, whatever they called it, it's not even leather. It's not leather, bro. It cracked like the desert, right? <laughs> it's pleasant. pleasant. And then pleasant. the little cracked pieces, like it's scale. It looks like a lizard scale now. Like right, everything's right, right, cracked yeah. and rising up. Yeah. And every time we sit now, it gets all over our backs like glitter. No way. And then the whole floor oh, looks like magic. snowflakes on the floor. <laughs> Magical. Fantastic. I don't think we, we're so trying to figure out. This is for your kid, too, in her life. We're trying to see. And make sure she snorts that shit. Yeah. <laughs> make sure she ingests it all. This is the greatest couch ever. When you're done with it, it turns to fucking yeah, cocaine. My- <laughs> <laughs> and you have this huge pile of cocaine. You can sell the cocaine, and that's how you live the rest of your life. That's how you live. It's, it's, a, it's a cycle. Secret couch, it's cyclical, dude. sustainable. Uh, my right kid there. doesn't even know like how bad it is. Like To her, it's just normal. Like She walks off and dusts it off of her. Oh, man. Oh, my going. God. What are you You're going to have your fucking door battered down by a SWAT team one day. Like, where's the fucking Coke? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a couch, dude. Like, no, it's not, <laughs> it's dude. You're giving your daughter Where'd coke. that line come from on the floor? <laughs> it's a huge fucking line. Where's your huge fucking straw? Oh, where's shit, your big-ass dollar bill that you're going to roll over? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is all this shit? And all along, it was it was Coke all along. Yeah, we, <laughs> Fizzle, you sick bastard. We're actually trying to oh figure God. out now the cheapest way to get rid of it because we're, we're trying to post it on Craigslist. You think somebody will I want that couch? I can tell you the easiest way to get rid of it. What's that? And I've done it before in college. Just throw you it by the door. No, you throw it off the th- third story balcony right onto the floor. Wow. Yeah, I've done that before, I swear. That's common. I, I didn't do it with a couch. I did it with a desk, with an industrial desk. Wait, hold on. Who, who <laughs> I swear who I got takes I swear I did it. Somebody just says, whose fucking couch is they can't prove anything? No, I had my girlfriend stand below and I was like, make sure no one pulls into that parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was huge back then. I lifted this industrial desk by myself, solid oak over the railing, and I sent it down. When it hit the ground, it sounded like a fucking like grenade, dude. Oh and like God. eight doors opened up, and they're like, oh, "What the fuck just happened?" What so you're relying fuck? on nobody knowing, because if they find out it's you, they can somehow come after you. No, I went down there, then I picked up all the pieces, and I threw it in the trash. Oh, uh, okay. it was pretty funny though, because yeah, the, the, the dumpster is like really close. This couch is not gonna just smash like that. It might just like as soon as you let it off the balcony, it might just go. Poof. Yeah, I, I don't think <laughs> it goes uh, into a big a fucking load of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> all the coke goes everywhere. And then everyone dances so happy in the, <laughs> for like a day at least. It's <laughs> snowing and it's like everyone's I should just lungs. leave it below on the second floor in front of those two, three yeah. women. Free drug couch. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You should put free couch barely used. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think somebody will barely pick that used. up off Craigslist? You've seen the Probably condition. Probably not. Absolutely because not. So a if I say free couch, give away no, shit no one will take that thing. There, everyone's trying to give away a couch on Craigslist. Everybody is. I that would suck if you got like minute. you put a free thing up there and then someone comes over and robs you. That would suck. Yeah. Or like in Houston, like it's there's a happen. PS2 or PS3 oh, and the yeah, person gets killed. Yeah. Right. How shitty would that be? They're gonna walk Give into away my apartment, a shitty though. couch. They're gonna see all shot. the lights off and then that couch. And they're, <laughs> they're gonna flick the switch and see a toilet filled with like urine. And they're, they're like, all right, man, homeless <laughs> guy. Get the lives fuck here. out of here, man! <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> this is an abandoned apartment. Get out of here. Hey, since we're on the subject of like all kinds of. Uh, bodily yeah, functions gonna, and stuff. How you gonna follow this, man? How yes. you gonna follow this? No, like I, I try to do what Bonafide does. Cause you, sh- let me ask you, you shave, right? Yeah. Although, wait, I see like some silky hair on your no, arms. No, I don't shave my arms. I shave my legs. Oh, I thought you did. See, you. But barely- I haven't shaved my legs in a while, so they're still kind of they're getting kind of hairy again. But I usually shave my legs. Oh, do you, my okay, legs, dude. so do you shave it with a razor? Yeah, that's the only way to do it. And how often do you shave it? Like every four days or so. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. See, I used if to you let the stubs come out. It hurts way worse, right. especially in the middle of the night too. Well, that's what's going you on. You start itching like I didn't know this. So you I shaved crazy. completely, right? When? Um, what I usually do, I, I just take a uh, one of those uh, those clippers. I've done that before. Yeah, and I that go, hurts. and that feels great because it you get rid of all that hair. Yeah. But it doesn't get all itchy. Well, you told me you shaved, so I took a razor, right? Yeah. In the shower, I shaved everything, my whole body, head with to cream toe. or no cream? Cream. Oh, soap, soap. Uh, yeah, it would still work. So I shaved everything, and now I'm just itching, yeah, yeah, it's the itching, worst. itching. I can't wear any pants because it's itching. You know what to do? What's just that? Train your mind not to not to touch yourself down there. That's what I had to do. No, it's it's I it's had, not it's a mind very thing. hard. It's not no, 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 a mind no, no. thing. It's hard to do, but you can do it. 
I've done it. I no, have. I have it. red welts now everywhere. And, right, right, and like pimple type things. It'll look like you came out of the woods or some shit. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks, looks like, like I have poison things. ivy. Right, 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 right. Why didn't you tell me this? Because you probably did it. I bet you this is what I bet you did. You because you to tried to that. save the soap and like be cheap, <laughs> so you used like one little pass of the soap. You're supposed to like, you know, put a pass of the soap, then scrape, wash, and then put another pass. Uh, Shave, I did something yeah. similar if you go to save shave, water. Shave, 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 shave. Oh, you're just yeah. irritating your skin then, yeah. man. That's what I did. And then you wash after like no, the eighth I took drag. A, I took That's a cup bad. of water. Yeah. And then I dip my razor in there to clean it out. Uh, yeah. Shave. Yeah. Oh, dip it in there again. Wow. Shave. That's okay. It. But I wonder what. But that's you, water. I think it's because you use soap. You need to do a. Like, look at some of these wells. Don't show us your balls. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's because even standard, bro. It. That's a scam. Wait like till you a, have the crazy ones, man. I've had way worse than that. No, I've way had worse, ingrowns. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. I've had way worse than those. So I, I'm, I'm done just, with I'm this getting, whole shaving. Yeah, you, you have to get gel, shave. dude. Gel's what it works. Yeah, I'm, I'm done shaving. Gel's I'm just expensive, though. That's the only thing. What? I'm just going to keep trimming it. You'll get more ripped if you uh, shave. What? It shows the rips. He's right. That's why I do it. skin will get ripped. Okay. And I'm just way That's too hairy. one thing I'm so blessed with is the fact that I don't grow hair on my chest, my black, my back, my abs, and then nowhere around there. So aesthetic. Yeah, I so love aesthetic. It, I bet you woo doesn't. I don't I've got no hair, hair, dude. I got a shitload of dude. Pubes, it's such though. a good perk because you have you ever sh- seen people? Wait, what like, did he say? He's got a shitload. I got of a shitload of pubes. You got that Asian no pubes, hair. right? They're just straight. You know what? Now that CMFK is here, yeah, I want to bring up his TV that he oh, just yes. bought. This is gonna be good. <laughs> so uh, CMFK went out there and he bought a TV. We discussed it on our last podcast. Right, we, we did. We brought we did. Up that he's we gonna, did. He calls yeah. me to go pick it up because I got a c- call from CMFK, and this is ninety nine point nine percent of the time when I call CMFK. Hey, what's up, CMFK? What? What the fuck do you want? <laughs> That's how he answers his phone to me. That's awesome. So I, for the first time in probably three years, get a call from CMFK. Immediately, I know something is up. This yeah. guy must need something, right? Because I'm like, he never calls me. And he's being nice. Hey, what you doing? I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? This guy never, ever calls me. should have returned the favor. Like, what the fuck do you want? (laughs) He goes, I need some help uh, picking up this TV of mine. I'm like, okay, CMFK helps a lot of people, man. No, no. I I, I didn't even question. If he needs help, you should go help him. Dude, I was halfway home. I just did a U-turn. I'm like, cool, I'm there. So I go help him pick up this TV, right? Yeah. So he went and bought what he thinks is a 4K TV. Tell the viewers what a 4 I mean what what would a 4K of any is it is it the shit right now or not the shit? Yeah, it's it's the best TV you can buy because it's it's like four, four times the resolution or something. Pixel, it's 4596 I think. Pixels per inch? No, it's like the 1080 by 968 I think is the uh, okay. 1080 resolution. But what does the 4000 mean exactly? From when you, from what you know. Oh yeah, what is what that? How many that pixels mean? in every inch? So 1080 is 1080p. 4K is four just, times that. Okay, but does that mean there's more four pixels per inch? Yeah, I think that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, right? is that what it is? Because the actual picture. Like if you take an inch of think the about fucking it TV, an way. inch box, inch, 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 are there 4,000 fucking pixels in there? I think so. That's what I'm thinking it think is. Think about it this way, right? So you have a, let's say you have a 1080, let's say you have a 2 megapixel image. If you blow it up real big, right. it's going to get pixelated, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. So if you have like a 100 inch TV, it's going to look kind of fuzzy. Right. Yeah. Well, if you have a 10 megapixel picture, now it's the exact size of the TV, so it's going to look super sharp. Okay. So they can make bigger TVs. Right? Right. So, anyways, here's the resolution of a 4K TV. 4,096 by 2160. Okay. So, he keeps telling me, and this, and the only reason I'm saying is the guy's house is in shambles, right? That's where we do our show from. Like, this is the only, the, the room in here that's halfway kind of built. It's not in shambles. I mean, it's got AC. It's running heat. I mean, it's not like fucking fight club shit dude yeah but when we say shambles he's torn apart we the should house. start a fight club here dude <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'd, I'm just kidding. I'd lose that fight change so fast. each one of his rooms into a different business <laughs> <laughs> fight club in one room dude we could probably get profitable with an underground fighting ring in here dude i'm serious man <laughs> is there See, a basement see if could probably agree to it <laughs> like we can convince him <laughs> there's not a basement that anyone knows about Oh, oh shit! Ah, okay, Hello. perfect place for Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like his house, like he's ripped up the house so he can fix it later. But that doesn't make any sense because everything was fine, but he tore it apart in advance of fixing it. So he came in two thousand eight. That's when he moved here. 
Right. Okay. And then when did he start <laughs> tearing apart his house, would you say? I remember seeing it and with a deck and everything that was like, I was like, damn, this, this is a nice house because a golf dude, I think, lived here before you, right? Yeah. So there was a golf guy. Like, was he almost PGA or was he? He was pretty, he was a pro, wasn't he? Yeah. Right. He was a pro or a teacher because he went pro for a while and then he was a teacher at that, I think, or something like that. Sure. So he was a well off dude, I think, right? And the house looked great. I can't remember. You had a deck that was pretty decent. It's great for built in 1985, great. But it's still good. Okay, so. I, I remember it looking like it, it, it was nice. I don't, I'll don't. i say it like that. It was nice. So at what year did he start tearing this thing apart? Like he literally. I didn't meet him immediately. So he might have been just tearing it up like as soon as he moved in. But I think I met you in 2010 maybe. I don't even know. CMFK, when did you start tearing apart your house? The first I noticed was when the deck got torn up. Well, yeah, what is the first? What's the very first thing you tore up? What do you, what do you remember? The very first thing. It couldn't have been the deck. It was something else. It had to have been, like, the attic area, I guess. No, that was, the deck was way before the attic. Way before the attic. So you oh, tore your I deck did. off your entire <laughs> backyard. And we're talking a deck <laughs> that goes up to the second floor. Wow. That, that had a goes, skylight and everything. Yeah, it, it, goes, it goes from one end of the house to the other. He, by one yeah, person, had, tore had it had down. A skylight on a deck. You don't know. You had, a, you had a, a secondary room like my house, and then it went out to the deck, but that room had a skylight. It was all furnished. It was yeah. cool looking. Wow. So then he had a glass hot, sliding door without a deck, so if somebody opened that up by mistake, you would just fall out the second floor and die. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got that, right? Then he tore every room up. <laughs> And he keeps saying, well, I'm like, why are you tearing these up? Because I'm going to fix it one day. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to fix it. Just wait till you see. It's going to look real good. It's going to be sick. So now he starts installing like all sorts of shit in here that are not priorities, right? Like he puts in like some crazy like fire alarm system. What's a priority? But it's not even finished. Though. Floors. Floors are priority. Is your fire alarm working? Floor. We're walking on it. Is your fire alarm working now? Yeah. Yeah, so he, he took his closet, tore it apart, thinking he's going to do, like, some kind of, uh, what do they call those things? Like an AV cabinet? Yeah, like, like an audio-visual stuff. And it's always like, I'm going to work. I'll be done next week. Oh, I'm going to finish it next week. So he bought all this expensive equipment, like, four years ago when it was, like, top of the line. And you know how, you know how electronics are, right? They, they go extinct almost immediately. Like, they go out of date to where they're not even they're, worth anything. They, they're not worth anything, but they will still sound and produce amazing shit. Yeah, they'll look great. But if he had just waited, like... So what's the problem? Well, because you buy stuff and just sit them in boxes until they're not see worth his point. anything. Like, Why didn't you just buy, buy it when right done. before? Right. Like when you're done with everything, just buy the electronics then. So you might spend the same amount of money. It's like if you, if you bought an iPhone 3... <laughs> And you didn't use it till today. You're like, oh, man, when I'm done on that iPhone, I'm going to use that iPhone. <laughs> now you're on like iPhone 3G. And now the iPhone 6, which right. does bend, by the way. You can have iPhone out. 6 Plus right now. It's bending, yeah. It bends? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll get, uh, that's actually one of the news stories. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. So um, what I don't understand is why you don't just wait to buy the electronics. So anyways, he bought a TV, which he uses. And now he's like, I got to get a 4K TV. I, well, he doesn't even say it. He just goes and buys it. This shit always just shows up magically, right? <laughs> and it's, he could have just used that money to fix the house. Right. Nah, he, you know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, he needs a the, TV, though. All the Come money on. spent on electronics, he could have just fixed his house at this point. I got a story for you. CMFK has this interesting uncle that comes over all the time and hangs out with him, right? And I was, and he, the uncle borderline aloof sometimes you know what that means right yeah he's just kind of not there but sometimes he's there and sometimes he's not there i think it's almost like that's his act like to be funny maybe i, I can't tell we find it pretty funny though <laughs> <laughs> i can't tell if it's an act or he actually is like that yeah yeah so uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's the kind of guy like you could be talking about something and then one day he'll just be like yeah i like picking cherries in virginia and he'll be like you were talking about something totally different and he'll just be like <laughs> yeah, yeah cherries are good you know so uh the other day Right when you pulled up with the TV yesterday, you pulled up and you have the TV in the back and he see he rolls up with his truck and he sees both you guys walking in the house with that huge box. He goes, what's, what's going on here? I'm like, <laughs> CMFK just got a new TV. And he immediately says, what's wrong with the old one? Oh, <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> which, 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 which is, is something we don't reaction, even right? understand. Yeah. But here, so here's, here's an aloof person that's like not quite with it, immediately grasping the situation for what <laughs> it is. Y'all were the same way whenever I bought my bike. A which bike. is another thing we can uh, talk about. Yeah, we can talk about it. We got to <laughs> save that one for another one. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyways, my point about this TV is, right, we go and get this giant TV. It's like 70 inches, right? So I'm thinking this thing's got to be amazing. He's talking about 4K, right? So I look at it, and it's not even f- – okay, it's gotten so bad now where – He's not just buying the latest and greatest shit, and it's becoming <laughs> what is it called when electronics like go out of date? Right. Obsolete. He's not letting things go obsolete. He's buying obsolete <laughs> shit. <laughs> so I, I look up the specs on this TV, right? Like he had to have the 4K um, TV, which okay. the 4K standard is not even set. Like there's not, you can't get 4K Blu-rays. You can't get. Um, but it'll head that way because everyone's getting one gig internet here in a second. Okay, this is like when um, Blu-ray and HD DVD were battling it out, right? Okay. So I had an HD DVD, lost out. Now I have this worthless electronics I spent like 500 bucks right, on. Right, I remember that. It's worthless. Right. So that's basically kind of what he did. Not that bad, but I look he at this 4K a TV. On something? It's only 3840 resolution so it's so, not 4k so it's almost. right below it's right below 4k is a naked eye gonna be able to see that no, though no it'll very, still look really good very good but in like three months that won't even exist anymore they'll start at 4k they actually go up to like 56 something wow you know widescreen 5120 that's the max they but make he saved a hundred dollars on this tv Dude, you, how much so is so he's it's called ultra wide oh. so oh, yours oh, is Yours is 8.2 million pixels, right? Actual 4K that is... That sounds like a lot. Yeah, actual 4K is, though, 8.9 pi- million pixels. Okay. Right? So that's real 4K. But here's the kicker. Could you say that's obsolete now when no one even has the kind of TV he has, no, really? can't. The I'd say he still has a well, pretty good TV, right? Well, here's the right? kicker. When real 4K movies come out and 3D 4K movies... Yes. You'll be able to buy a Blu-ray player, right? Right. Because right now the only place that's is all going to be it's not going to exist anymore. It's going to be DLC. I don't know. Downloadable what content. Like right. None right. of these fucking Possibly. discs are going to even. It's not going to so even be like that anymore. He'll get to show. He'll sh- 8K. You won't even know, man. I don't think you might. I don't think you'll know. Well, here, here, here's where I think it's obsolete, right? So his has HDMI 1.4. Okay. And to get 4 true 4K, you have to be you have to have HDMI 2.0. And it doesn't have that. No. So he won't be able Ooh. to connect all these cool peripherals like camcorders and like Blu-ray players and stuff to that TV. So it's like basically when things went component video, he's like rocking an S video, right? Right. Mm. Yeah. So it's a, the or resolution. When S video came good. out, he's just rocking the yellow cable. Yeah. See, <laughs> and I feel bad saying this because like he was so excited about it. He did get a good price if you compare it to like the other websites that are selling it. Right. But like he's bought some obsolete shit now, and it's just gonna. <laughs> and it, he doesn't even. He, he just opened it right now just to look at it. He's not even installing it. It's gonna sit there probably <laughs> for a couple years. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Six though. months. So he already knows how long he's gonna sit. But anyway, CMFK man. Allocation of money in a different direction. <laughs> oh look at this! Three the, parts of his house are actually on. looking good. Three parts of his house are looking good. Can you name the three? The studio. Oh, okay, four now. Sorry. <laughs> four parts of the house look amazing. That room, the, like where yeah. the TV is. That one's a good one. That's one of them. But it's not done. What's the second one? That's it. No. There's another. The siding of the house is. Oh, yeah. Redone. He did the outside siding. So That's if you, yeah, if awesome. You, yeah. If you walk outside, it looks amazing. And then you walk in here, it looks like Fight Club. Right. right. <laughs> and then the third thing it's the garage, man. The garage oh, is yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Garage is good. Yeah. But you know what? I just read something. You just need to keep going, man. Hire someone. I keep telling you, man. Dude, you have to hire somebody. That is Bullshit. your only way out. No, I just read Bullshit. something. All right. So check this. Do you know what my uh, brother calls CMFK? What? He calls him the human termite. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a circus. Wow. Right? The human termite. Because he comes into place and he just like starts dismantling things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but he's the most helpful guy. Maybe that's why like he can't get his... The house done. He's always helping us out, do shit. All right. So you know what his his uh, fuck you moment's gonna be? What's that? It's gonna be <laughs> now that he's finally like disassembled everything, right? And it's like now he's ready for his moment to prove to us. He's gonna make a YouTube channel. I guarantee you. 
Really? DIY CMF camera. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna coming? get millions of views, dude. And he's gonna show people how to put fans in and like right. all this wiring. But that means he would have to continuously just rip apart his house. No, he it's ready, it. dude. That's what I'm there. saying. <laughs> he's almost there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. CMFK is is ready to do it, man. I, I just read something that's film. gonna depress him even more. On, There's an F U H D coming out. This is like a F U the TV's <laughs> gonna do. It's really it's called F U H D. And it's going to be, instead of like yours is 3,840 resolution, this is going to be 7,680. That's about to come yeah, out. But here's, really? here's something real quick, dude. <laughs> You're always, here, you know what's funny about you? You know what's funny about you? This is what's funny about you. When I got my Prius, you were like, oh my gosh, the new Hyundais are so sick. And they're like 30K, same price as your Prius. I'm going to get one tomorrow. And I was like, well, whatever, man. And then uh, it came down to you pulling the trigger and you're like, Man, the fit and finish of that Hyundai is not that good, man. I couldn't do it. I was like, yeah, whatever. And you're like, but this other car is so sick. It's just like totally diff- – it's a C-Max, man. It like it gets 100 miles a gallon. Yeah, Ford C-Max? It's a freaking Ford, it's dude. A piece of shit. And I was, you're like, I'm going to get one of those. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, I don't want that thing, man. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so, so then finally you're like – one day you call me like, bitch, I just bought a – Thirteen thousand dollar Prius. I was like, "What the fuck?" From like two thousand four. It was ten thousand. <laughs> so you do what CMFK does too. You What's buy that? an obsolete Prius. Oh, no, shit. that's completely hey, different. He does his research though, right? Because cars don't go obsolete. They transport <laughs> you from point A to point B. They just go down in value. Which is once it's, I'm doing Appreciate. the smart thing. I, I buy so, a completely depreciated uh, asset. It could be obsolete. Because I could sell that thing almost for what I bought it for right yeah, now. Yeah, but something doesn't work in it, right? Like your Bluetooth. You don't even have Bluetooth. What? Something doesn't work no, in there. everything works No, fine. something doesn't work. You're like, ah, this One is... One of my lights don't come on every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a big deal. Wait, like a headlight or inside light? A headlight. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> well, you, you just look, at a, look like a motorcycle on a night road. Right. That's it, yeah. I just Extra get pulled cool. over <laughs> every A motorcycle that goes around at 30 miles an hour no matter where it goes. <laughs> trying to get you made an insane oh, journey man. the other day on your prius didn't you i went like 30 how miles many miles on bat not 30 miles i would say like 15 four or five miles four or five miles with no gasoline wow use it all that's awesome but like to do that God, you, you piss <laughs> everybody off around you <laughs> oh you can flip it on and off you can say hey no, i you just can't. want no. battery now oh, there's no there's a trick to it it's a it's a pedal fuel thing yeah you uh-huh. you pump the pedal and then you let go and it kicks into battery mode, but then you got to go real slow. <laughs> so I'll do it at night when nobody, like if I'm leaving the studio here after a show, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll do it because nobody's on the road. But I used to do it no matter what, and it looks like a procession behind me, like a funeral <laughs> procession. It looks like a funeral procession led by a Prius, but I get like four miles a gallon extra. Okay, and how long does it take for you to get home? Because You know what? Honestly, it's the, almost the, the same because... What I do, th- this is the main trick that pisses this is, people this off. Sounds awful. Like this if you is. see a red light or like further down, you immediately let go and just cruise all the way to the red light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead of break like driving fast and then breaking right yeah, when you yeah, get there. Yeah, yeah. You the just, Prius, you have to you break you break so gently. Yeah, you just let the car it slow itself charges down. Itself if you, oh yeah. The second you let off the accelerator, it starts charging itself a little bit, and then when you approach the stop sign or the stop light, if you start gently applying the brakes from fucking far away i'm talking like right. far away it starts charging your battery up. the crazy part is you hardly ever stop in the fucking car because but that's the trick you're not supposed to stop you're seeing lights like like way in the distance right. man. like you're like okay i saw it turn yellow then red then you this is like super slow prius like so yeah, gangster amazing. rolling that's up awesome. to the stop sign <laughs> but see people are beating me to the light yeah, right. but, but then when the yeah. light turns green, they're completely stopped, and I'm I pass them going, at like three miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I literally pass them right right when it turns green. I'm passing them because wow. I'm going so slow, and then I start accelerating. There you go. Yeah. So they're just beating me from one light to the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I, if I if somebody is following me, I probably get home like maybe one or two minutes later. Than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll get an extra. I'll get fifty miles a gallon. Okay. But you jeopardize so your life doing this Prius stuff, right? Look, you jeopardize your life just getting in the Prius, man. That thing's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> it can't accelerate out of anything. I wonder what the, 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 road, the statistics of like rear crash, for, you know what I'm it, saying? Like people that just slam into a Prius going like scary. 60. <laughs> no, because... Because they just misjudge these <laughs> brake lights. Just 
going in the middle. <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to follow. I Bam! Not, not like, just misjudge like a, a Prius, but misjudge the cheap-ass driver who's trying to save gallons yeah. of gas. There's got to be some like, accident statistic on a Prius. There has to be. Oh, wow. I, I know there was some couple that died right in front of me got rear-ended. But, hey, you want to call Metalhead real quick? We have this All right, let's give him a call. On the phone. I think he's on there. You know what question I've been dying to ask him? What's that? Like, what was a young metalhead like? Like, before he was hey, metal. let's see some Like, uh, what pictures. did he dress up like? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. before you were metalhead, you are always somebody. Yeah, he was right. probably a nice boy. A nice clean coat metalhead? boy. Metalhead? Metalhead? Uh-oh. Metalhead. Oh What's up, What's prospects? Up? What's up, man? How's it going? <laughs> hey, turn your picture on, man. Yeah, you look really pale, and uh, your wallpaper looks blue. You look like your Hold head's on. floating. Hold on, fuckers. Hey, I don't fuck, dude. All right. There he is. Hey. Sexy hey, man. Hey. Look at that guy. Hey, it's the same hey, he he wore last time. Have you been lifting? Yeah, I've been lifting. Let's see a double bicep pose. Let's see the biceps. See, look at that scene. Are you even Jeez. flexing? Nope. You know well, what? Why I would you we, even do that pose? I think, we, <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to him last time with the whole Burton or anything because he shaved off that little uh, mohawk. Did you really? Did it get to you? Well, you see, well, well, you see, the reason why because I was trying to get my mohawk right, but the thing was, the Chinese lady ended up messing up my hair, so I had to shave off all my hair to start all over. How mad were you, metalhead? I was really pissed off. Would you? How'd you let her have it? Well, that's why I'm starting all over. Now, did you yell at her or anything? You throw a fit? No, I just told her. I just said, you know what? Since you messed it up, you might as well just shave it off and let's start all over then. All right. And then you paid her too, right? Yeah, I paid her. So hey. he went for a haircut like you have, Diz. Yeah. But he paid for his, and you just did yours for free, right? <laughs> yeah, why, why would you pay somebody to completely just shave your head with, like, a clipper? How much did you pay? I only paid, like, about, probably about 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Damn. You know, like, you when can buy clippers for, like, 15. About. And you just put on number one and just buzz all around. Well, you see, what happened was, was like, when she was shaving my head off, what happened was, like, the backside right here on my head was kind of, like, she was trying to straighten it out, but 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 the problem was just that she said it was too short, because like the top part right here was kind of like kind of long and everything. So I just told her I said, "Well, then make it even." So when she started shaving it, and what happened was the back part she kept messing up the back part. So I just told her I said, "You know what? Just shave it off. Fuck it. Start all over." Okay. Hey, what happened you- to your face, man? Is that I heard you got in a hardcore wrestling match? Is that is that what that is on your face? Yeah, no, no. First of all, like what happened in my face is nothing happened in my face. Like you know, what is it that just, red red stuff? Is that a rash or what's going no, on? No, no, no. Like see what it is. Just like I put a uh, like olivera, like you know, like the plant. I put olivera, the plant. Like <laughs> wait, what kind of face. plant is it? Is that is that olivera, like that little green <laughs> plant thing? You know, olivera, uh, aloe vera, <laughs> aloe vera. Straight yeah, from, yeah, straight whatever, from like, India. Like, I'm I'm so, aloe vera. Uh, <laughs> Supposedly, like, it's the one that's supposed to heal the burns and scars and yeah. everything. So. But why are you rubbing it? Why is it red and, like, raw? You know, I'm just, I don't know, dude. I just. Does that itch? Does that hurt? No, it doesn't itch or nothing. Do you it, actually have your own aloe vera plant? Painful, or? Right? No, no. Like, he no, like, like a you know, totally different person without glasses. There's no, itching. there's no itching or nothing. Like, it doesn't itch or nothing. It just, it's just red because sometimes, see, like, when I work out, too. You know, like when I sweat, you know, my face gets like kind maybe, of like really red. So maybe you're allergic to aloe vera. No, not, no, I'm not allergic to aloe vera. Okay. Can you spell aloe vera? I don't even know how to spell it, dude. Okay. What I feel about, so- give it a shot. <laughs> what about the bottle, try, man? What about the bottle? Yeah, go ahead and try it. Give it a shot. What is that? How do you spell aloe vera? I don't know. It's like A L E V E. See, I see. I flunked spelling. Aleve? You just spelled the headache <laughs> medication. <laughs> That's some aspirin you got going on. So you're rubbing aspirin on your face. No wonder it's all red. I'm not rubbing no freaking aspirin, okay? It's it's like that little Hey, flat- Metalhead, let me ask you. Do you When you wipe your ass, do you stand up or sit down? Well, I fucking stand up. What do you expect? Yeah, wait, like, what God, did I do? You're, you're right. Like 50, half 50. the people right. in this world stand up and the other half sit down. Oh, that's so that's strange. strange. Nobody, the people standing up don't realize the people sitting down are sitting down. I'm oh, telling you. Because matter, first man. of all, let me just explain to you like this. Jeez. When you're sitting in the fucking commode taking a crap, okay? 
nobody's not going to fucking sit down and, and just go under and be like, no, because you don't go no, under, that's dude. exactly you go what the, uh, the stand up people told me. They say, I don't want to put my hand between there. You don't put it between, you put it behind, right? Yeah, I do behind. Yeah, behind's easier. Yeah, exactly. Like, whatever. You lean know? forward. CMFK, do you put your hand underneath? No, I stand up. You stand up? Oh, Look yeah. at this. Your neighbor stands up. What the Bonafide's hell? world is being turned upside down right now. <laughs> this is My so world weird. got turned aside the first time I knew somebody stood up. That's You guys are fucking There's weird. dudes standing up and squatting and spreading their asshole apart. Hey, there's 3.3 billion. According to your statistics, <laughs> man, 3 billion people on this planet. Stand up and Stand wipe their up ass. And wipe I bet you ass. there's like 1% that plank. <laughs> oh, fuck. Metalhead, so when you stand up, do you push your butt like back? That way your butt cheeks spread apart? No, I just grab the paper and I just stick it in. And stick it clean in. Out all the, clean out all the shit. And then. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you can just sh- guy go grab some paper real quick and show us what you do? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know when it's done? How do you know when it's done? No, it's just like, you know, once, once you wipe your ass, that's it. Okay. How do you know? I don't get it. Like I think he's asking, like, how do you know? Let me just explain to you like this, bona fide. When you're in the fucking commode taking a crap, right? Commode, you know are you when you're throwing it all out and everything, right? Like you know how you're just pushing it and and it comes out, and then when it comes out, right? You're like, okay, you know what? Your stomach's telling you, okay, I'm done. You know because it's the stomach that tells you when you're done. Okay, because a lot of people say that oh, it's in the mind no. when you when you have to go to the bathroom. No, it's your stomach. I got it's your that, gut. Hey, I got that mind shit connection, dude. I'm like <laughs> telling you, man. Do you eat a lot of fiber, by the way? No, I don't eat like a lot of fiber. Yeah, but like the bread around the chicken nuggets—that's fiber, right? No, I don't eat chicken nuggets no more anyway. What do What'd you, you eat? What do you switch to? What'd you eat today? Well, see, I I just got some chips and like like a little bit of like a little, uh, oh, ranch dip. <laughs> That's all I ate. <laughs> oh no for real that's all i ate you know? <laughs> are you like cramping up right now or like what, what's wrong? this shit must be just like fucking prehistoric uh bones man <laughs> like your shit can't be healthy right when you look you look at your poop oh right God. before you flush first of all it's like this dude when i go dude i go i don't even look at my shit dude i just fucking you don't look at your shit, poop dude. right before you flush you said it's human instinct everybody to- does dude Everybody looks down and checks their poop right before they flush. You can't not you're do getting, it. You're getting him like t- he's trying yeah, to. Metalhead, it's physically and mentally not possible for a human not to check their poop after they poop, right? Do Do you guys look at it? I think everybody looks. Yeah, you I have to. You have to. You gotta check of course. if it's okay. You gotta check if it's good. Because they even because see what happened was this. Like, I was reading in some psychologist internet that's saying that if for some reason if your shit turns green you know supposedly that's that's a sign of it's, diarrhea it's too much ranch <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like green salsa with the chips right there yeah like salsa yeah. verde uh, salsa oh verde God. anyways the reason I'm calling Metalhead he went out uh, he's been frequenting those chat lines like chat you know lines. on the phone what do you mean? Like on the uh, on the back pages of the, you know how they have those. They like, charge you for those things, man. Yes, I don't know if they char- metalhead. Do they charge you for that? No, no, no. Because see, if you're so, how a do new they make person, their money? Who the fuck's gonna talk to? No, no, no. For free. Well, you see, like, well, well, you see, like, if you're a new person, they give you like, you know, they give you probably about thirty minutes, like, you know, to talk for free or like, you know, just how do, how do they track if you're new or not? No, it's just like I don't know. I guess like, like once they get your phone number, okay. they put it on record. So that means like the next time you call, they know already. Okay, well that number has already been called. So you know, now so, now now like the next time you use it, we're gonna charge you. Why this did is, you call first? Why are you calling these things in the this, first place? It's so old school. First too. of all, first of all, yeah. why are you smiling? Why did you just why did you call it? It was just bullshit. It was just bullshit shit, man. Oh, okay. That's all because right. I was bored, dude. I was just oh, like, you got ah, horny one night. You got horny. Yeah. And you wanted to hear just a woman's voice. Watching TV yeah. and then like the commercial showed up and I was like, oh, fuck shit. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let me just see what the hell you fucking called that shit. What, what, what kind of show do they advertise on? I don't know, man. It fucking was just mash like, or something. He put down his <laughs> chips and ranch dip real quick. Yeah, oh, give me that fucking <laughs> phone. <laughs> I forgot what show I was trying to watch. But sexy singles in your show, area, so man. This Cheeto just fucking popped up and fingers. I was just like, fuck it, man. I was like, man, let me see what the... You know, uh, just let me just fucking play around with it. You know, that's man. it. You know? These, these chicks can't be... We need to create a Tinder profile for this kid. <laughs> Wouldn't yeah, that be it, great? Yeah, I don't think he'd get a single hit, though. Hey, how, oh. hey, Metalhead, how hard were you when you called this thing up? Because that was exciting, right? You're like, oh, shit, I'm finally going to do it. It wasn't even fucking hard. I was just it. like, 
I was just like, like I got my phone. And I'm like, fuck it, man. Let me. So see. what happens when you call it? Are you in like a giant room with like 50 people talking at once, or what happens? You see what happens, just like you know, like when you call, they tell you like you know how to explain, like you know, they explain to you, they tell you those stupid rules and everything. So anyway, so is when, your 30 minutes running during the explanation? Or? No, 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 like no, like it, it's like right after they. Like you make a little profile, and then after you make a little profile. Well, when you say make a profile, does it say like record your profile after the? Yeah, movie? yeah, exactly. Like, so, what know, does so, your profile say? So they tell you, "Hey, what's up, man? Anyways, I'm Metalhead. <laughs> well, I mean, no, what do you no, say? No, like heavy metal music? No, <laughs> what did no, you say? No, no, no. Looking for a heavy metal like, chick. <laughs> probably yours, Dizzle, would be like, "Yes, my name is H Dizzle, and I and I run a metal a uh, show called The Men's View." And I like uh, like to meet American women. There you go. No, <laughs> oh, my see, God. I saw his profile. He probably thought night. he was talking to the person that he saw on the screen, too, I bet, right? <laughs> what, what, yeah, like Bonafide, Bonafide would be so funny because Bonafide would be like, yeah, how you doing, ladies? My name is Bonafide. They call me the B-Dog. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm about six foot two, got to weigh about 380 pounds. I've got most of it. No steroids. What's so, <laughs> happening, baby? And they don't bill me so, at all. But really, what, what is right your? Now. And then like, and then like, what is like, your profile? Like China man, uh -oh. the China man, like you know, got like a, uh, like a profile. Like, hey, North hi, Korea, hi, dog. I'm China man. I want to come. I want to come. Be like, Fuck, dude. Like, 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 that'd be so funny if the ladies be like. What is he saying? What hey, is he well, saying? What would we, we don't CMFK. take Yen in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what would CMFK's profile say? Be CMFK, be like, man, we man, what's up, ladies? My name is CMFK. I'm like this hip hop rapper from Austin, Texas, and yeah, like you know, I drive like a little nice low rider. So, ladies, <laughs> y'all come see the anyway, CMFK. Y'all okay. come see me. All right, Metalhead. Really, I want I want you to tell me the truth. What did your profile CMFK say rapper. on that thing? Well. My pro, well, that little profile, I ended up, well, first of all, I lied, you know, because I, I didn't use my name. I used, like, the word, I used the name Johnny. That's what I did, you know? So you look like a I Johnny. I used the name Johnny, God. you know, I just told him straight out, I said, yeah, like, I'm just looking for fun. And, you know, I told him that I was, like, a six foot three, 185 pound dude. And, you know, I was muscle built and everything. <laughs> so, so then when I told him that, you oh know, gosh. that's when, like, like the call started coming in. You so know? it's easy to lie yeah, on this, right? Up. So you made your profile, then you talked to a chick. What happened? Well, you see, what well, we well, see, like you know, some of the chicks they were they were kind of telling like what they were looking for. So so you, it's start, almost like you're listening to voicemail, I guess, oh, right? This is, yeah, yeah. So you get a yeah. bunch of voicemails. Did this he even is, talk to anybody? No, you get it. Like he leaves his profile, people listen, and then they leave you a voicemail, I guess. So this is kind of like online dating, but on phone. On phone. Like it's, yeah. this yeah. I thought be, this was like a sex thing. No. Yeah, I thought he was. No, this is like Tinder, <laughs> but like what, what, it was popular back in the day before this is there was ghetto internet. Tinder, bro. Right. This before there was the internet, is. this was like the way you'd he get He has late. a smartphone. Why is he not just doing the right? Uh, what? Because like people like him are the only kind of people that call into this. So like think of a chick metalhead that's probably on the other line. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> so how many how oh, many messages no. do you get on there? Okay. I probably got about I probably got about a, a, about five five messages. So so do you actually meet wow. a girl? Yeah yeah yeah. Well, like well like one of them one of them was looking for uh, FWB and I told her What's I said I'm not interested in FWB. And uh, what you did know, you say to the person that wanted oh. FWB? What did yeah. you say? What? What did you tell the person that wanted FWB? Well, gay? I told her straight up. You know, like one thing I was just telling her, I was, I was like, yeah, well, like you know what? I'm looking for an LTR. That's what I'm looking for, girl. Long term relationship. And she goes, well, well, like you're meaning like the wrong girl. And I said, look, girl, I'm just letting you know that I'm looking for an LTR. I'm not looking for an FB. I mean, like I'm not FWB. looking for an FWB. So he's using all the jargon. Too. He's probably looking for a BBW. That's what BBW <laughs> LTR. So then what happened oh, was big just so black. You know what? Skipping her and no, it's big beautiful just, woman. Big beautiful. It's a big woman. black what, wiener. No, no, it's big beautiful it's woman. Larger. Well, in his case, it probably is. <laughs> so, so anywho, I'm on the line, and then all of a sudden, this girl pops up, and, and like I guess like likes my profile. How, how so, long do you have to wait before these calls start coming in? No, like, you know, just probably about a minute, you know, just really? probably about a this minute. Thing probably is about rigged as fuck, the, these women are chomping at the bit for a man like him, man. The moment they hear his voice, they're just they like take the little stop the ticker thing, like, oh, I just gotta take thirty minutes out of this motherfucker <laughs> and charge his ass. 
But to be honest, like some of these girls that I was listening to their profile, some of them were just looking for just a DTF. That's all they were looking for. And I'm like, That's I'm like, like damn. And, who use that? Oh my gosh. And then like it was funny because He's the it was only one guy. girl. That was, is not down I, for all that. It was one girl yeah. <laughs> left on the message saying, saying, oh, yeah, well, all you all you men, all you want is just a fuck, and you don't care. Like, y'all, y'all some dirty pigs, and this and that, da, 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 da. So then I replied to her back. I said, girl, y'all doing the same thing, too. All y'all want is just a DTF. Y'all just want to just suck, just suck us and fuck us and just leave us. So... <laughs> Hold up. Okay, he hold gets- on, hold on. This is conflicting because Metalhead, oh my God. back in the day, what, what was it, like one episode, two episodes ago, huge fan of the Mentors. What was what, what was their top song that you fucking loved? Finder Feeler or something. Yeah, fucker. yeah, the, the three Fs. <laughs> like you're, no, no, when no, did, no. When did you get all, when did this happen? You, you kind of transitioned into a, kind of a more sentimental guy wanting it's that LTR two, now. Four Fs. The okay, F, the four, exactly. Fs. Finder. Finder, Feeler, Fucker, Forgetter. And you're right so now. Stupid. You want to find her and then love her and then like be in a relationship. With the LTR, yeah, yeah. because yeah, because see, that's my mission now, dude. Okay, how did your mission so I change? Can grow all and of I can calm down with and everything, man. Like you know, it's, it's like just like you guys, man. It's so hard for him to actually get a chick to where he doesn't want to let her go once cling, he gets her. Cling, yeah. cling, cling. He should cling. just go to that like section on Craigslist. I heard that just like cops and hookers. No, it's just basically people that just want to like. Meet each other and sometimes. Oh, yeah, but those platonic, are mostly right? like cops and. No, they're not. No, they're not. Yeah. So yeah, did you I, actually meet a girl in person from this? Yeah, I did. What? What? Well, you see, whoa. Okay, well, here's the thing. What was her name? What? I forgot the girl's name. Anyway. Shut up. There's no did. way, dude. Oh, no, metal. No head. way. So anyway, like, oh, like we're dude. talking for about a minute. And then all of a sudden, like, she tells me, she's like, yeah. She's like, yeah. She's like, I'll give you my number if you want. Like, uh, we can meet up. And I So said, you're not actually talking, right? You're leaving messages back and forth, like voicemails? No, 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 no. No, what happened was, was just that she connected live because. Oh, they let you do that. Like, if you uh, like. Yeah. Or, so okay. thing was, just I was talking with her and I was like, yeah. So, yeah. So, like, what's your name? And she's like, well, I forgot her name. And, like, she told me, she's like, yeah, like, what's your name? And I said, like, my name is Johnny. And she's like, oh, okay, Johnny. She goes, how you doing? And blah, blah, blah. You know, well, I'm not going to get to that. So anyway, she tells me, she's like, hey, well, like, uh, you want to meet up? You want to meet? And I said, yeah, yeah, girl. Like, you know, I'm down to fucking, I'm down, girl. So, so like, she, so, so like, she sends me her phone number and I text her. And then, like, she texts me her address. Oh, shit. So, Whoa, dude. And to be honest, dude, she only lived about. I say about thirty minutes away from my house, dude. That's pretty far, man. You know? The like, further this away town. from his house, the Shit, better. Okay? I have seen his house. So, so anywho, dude. Hold on, dude. Did your car make it there? It, I got to stand up. It made up. it there. It, wouldn't, no, it didn't I'm make talking, it out. I'm talking, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh shit! I got to you, uh, I got to demonstrate. You know. What is he doing right now? You can now. check out our YouTube channel if you want to what see what he's doing. doing. What is he doing? I'm now, scared. Y'all see me? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can see you. You don't have an erection, dude. Oh, his nipples are erect. You see me, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go ahead. Hey, your okay, nipples are okay. showing. <laughs> so, anywho, dude, the reason why, I'm, well, anywho, I go over there and I meet her. And when I'm, so, well, I drive over there and, and I meet her. And when I meet her, I'm just right there, just talking, you know, like, well, like, I noticed that she lives in an apartment. Well, so when she lives in the apartment, you know, I go there, I knock on her door. And when I knock on the door, she opens the door, and all of a sudden, dude, mm-hmm. she, she comes. It's a little short white girl, dude, like kind of like this height, like this, you know, kind of like Pitch up to high. my chest. Metalhead yeah. nipple height. Well, right. anyway. Why do you got to stand up? What are you showing no, us? No, he's going to show us something. Go ahead. Yeah, go keep ahead. Keep going. Keep going. You know, it's just like to take away all my fear, dude. That's why I dizzle. But anyway, dude, mm-hmm. when I see her. The girl's like kind of like she's kind of like more like a BBW, but kind of imagine like Yokozuna's size, Yoko but Zuna. not like Yokozuna, kind of like more like, like King Kong Bundy size, you know. <laughs> so, anywho, she invites me in, oh and gosh. the first thing when I'm walking in there, dude, I see fucking clothes all over the apartment, dude. Girl looked like man, it, it looked like the damn FBI raided that place. <laughs> I mean, there was clothes everywhere, dude. I mean, like shirts, pants, you name it. Dude, dude. she cleaned up for you. <laughs> I mean, like when I walked in there, I'm like, okay. I'm like, and she's like, she's like, oh, excuse me for the mess. I'm sorry, but uh, 
I didn't have time to clean up. And I'm like, hey, you sure did, girl. You know, you know, I'm fucking just looking like this. I'm, you know, there's clothes all over. Dude. Are these clean clothes or dirty clothes? To me, I think it looked like dirty clothes. It looked like clean clothes, dirty clothes. To me, I'm going to say dirty clothes, dude. Oh because if God. a chick leaves clothes all over the, all over your house, yeah, that these, means it's dirty clothes. Are you in the living room at this point, looking around like in awe? Yes. Like, what are you doing? Are you just twirling around going, holy uh, fucking uh, shit? I'm doing it just, when I walk inside the apartment, I look at the living room and I'm like, uh, <laughs> hell no. I was like, so, damn, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so around here, man. It look like, I told the girl, I said, man, did the FBI came in here and raid your place? She goes, no, I'm sorry. I just, like I said, I didn't have time. I was too busy. I said, yeah, busy. Busy. My butt just laying, being in your ass all day, not doing nothing. So anyway. These are not folded like, clothes, right? These are just so crumpled messes. she invites me to sit down on the freaking couch. So I'm sitting on the freaking couch, right? Well, notice that there was some more clothes on top of that couch. So I just <laughs> grabbed it like this, man. dude. I just ended up grabbing those little dirty Whoa. ass clothes and I just threw them on the ground. Dude. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, oh, man. So anyway, I'm sitting down. So uh, aggressive, the, man. The girl, dude, is fucking watching TV, right? And she's like, she's like this. She's like this. She's like, she invites you to sit I mean, down because they can't have a conversation. They're, they're not communicating. I don't think, right? like no LTR right here. All right. What do you mean? She's changing the channel? Yeah, like yeah. So I'm sitting down like this. So I, so the thing is, I'm sitting down like this. I'm like, okay. I was like, so what's up? And she goes, oh, nothing, nothing. She goes, what's up? Probably because she 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 wasn't expecting what walked in. I'm yeah, right. You said you were 6'3", 180 pounds, solely Jack. And your name's Johnny. And your name's Johnny. It's a Mexican right, guy walked in. Yeah. Dude, they both fucked each other, man. Right. Because they he completely came liked over. All oh, right. And it looks like you know, four foot five, green hair, green teeth, three fifty. You know what I'm saying? Is, like, right. Such a Fucking problem, monster, these days. dude. You can't trust like anybody. Just clothes everywhere, like dirty, stinky. Like one of those. You remember those treasure trolls back in the day that had like the gem inside of them? The, the, the <laughs> trolls, yeah, <laughs> troll dolls, hair? yeah, right. troll dolls. Probably look like that, dude. Right. So, was she even remotely attractive? Oh shit. She, she, she was, but like in her face, like you know, she did have a pretty face. I ain't gonna lie, but. But like oh, her body lie, right man. here was kind of like, uh, kind of like look, big, you know. You look you too know? much like yours, or kind of like, like, kind of like this, kind of like this wide. Dude. <laughs> well, so she was short <laughs> and big. <sighs> so, do you think she worked out? No, no, dude, she didn't work out at all, man. It looked like the girl was kind of like just out of shape, bad, you know. All right, so what? Ha- so she was flipping through the channels. What happened? What happened here, Metalhead? Anyway, like I'm, so uh, I'm sitting down like this, and then she tells me she's like, so yeah, well, like you want to go to the, you want to go to the room, and I was like, which is the bedroom, and I was like, yeah, fuck it, don't bother me. So I'm like, she takes me right, and as soon as when I walk inside the bedroom, I see more freaking clothes all over the freaking bed, all over the ground, dude, and I see some shoes, man. What what thing was? I took about two steps, and all of a sudden, I started tripping on some shoes, man. And I'm like, I'm like, what the hell, bro? And she says, no, like I said, excuse me for the mess. Wow. So anyway, she she uh, goes to the bed, and, like, she's laying down. And, like, she said, and she says, yeah, well, come on, just come lay down. Like, you know, no you know, no problem. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck so, it, man. He's going That's forward, right. man. It's so funny. Fuck it. Okay. Oh so I just tell her. I tell her, I said, so like, what do you want to do? She says, she says, I want to do a DTF. Oh my God. I said, you want to do a DTF? Oh, no, you wanted LTR though. Yeah, Aww. she called, she, she, she probably wanted, you, she made you think she wanted a relationship. Bait and trap, bait and trap, right? Here's, here's what happens. She, and I was kind of like, I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, fuck it. So I ended up kissing her, Okay. I ended up kissing her. Metalhead, can you show hold us? On, hold on, hold on. Just let him talk. Hold okay, on. okay. We gotta like, see what he's I saying. I was just kissing her for a little bit, and I said, and she tells me, she's like, she's like, wow, you're a good kisser. And I said, well. Can you demonstrate yeah, to the camera how you, you kiss? I want you to show us how you kiss, Metalhead. Can you do that? Because you look like a good kisser. Let me tell come you. Come on, come on. Let's see those lips in well, action. Well, in order to do that, I got to have a girl with me, so. Now, use your hand Just or something. Imagine just imagine the screen as a, a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Me. So, after I'm done kissing her, right, she has, like, this big old red gown, like, nightgown, you know? <laughs> and, I, and I noticed that... She was she, wearing this all along or it's what? It's probably like an M&M's, like, uh, Halloween costume, you know? <laughs> she had, like, a little nightgown, like, 
like up to here, you know. She had this one kind of like up to here. Bro. Was she so, wearing this all along, or? But so like anywho, I'm kind of like you know just just like touching like like you know kind of like right here on the side. <laughs> That's the an side. erogenous erogenous zone right there. Right? So anyway, so anywho, she tells me straight up. She's like, she's like, yeah. She's like, yeah. Like I want to do it, and I was like, wow. all right. Yeah, right. fuck it, right? Hey, hey fuck it, fuck it, man. Yeah, fuck it. Hey, metalhead, sit sit closer to the camera. We can't hear you too well. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Okay. Well, since since like you know, because I still have my clothes on, and you know, I wasn't gonna let them. Were you hard? Me. Did you have an erection or what? No, was, no, not really, dude. I didn't get Half hard or nothing. I was kind of like, you know, I was just playing around with this girl. I'm like, man, yeah. I just. Play. I don't I know. I, I, I get hard just playing around. Yes. Wait, do you think she had anything on underneath the red thing? She had nothing. She had no panties or nothing. Is that how she answered the door when you came over? Yeah, yeah. was she wearing this all along? I don't even know, dude, because when I walked you in, don't even her room was dark. She, dude. All she had was just TV on. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. This is like. Imagine you let a guy. This is like some saw shit. Yeah, dude, you, you know? let a strange guy into your house. Hey, so, and so, anywho, so they're like, you know, I started feeling on her on her side, and then all of a sudden, I just, I just lift up her her little gown, and I started just you, finger banging her. What finger bang? No, he's no, three fingers. He's, he's two fingers. Oh, two fingers. So okay. you, you actually. Uh, so let me ask you this, man. How, how do so you finger crass. a girl? Do you slowly rub around the clit, or do you stick your fingers in and out of her? It looks like he vagina. went straight in. Oh, no, no. All I do. When the vagina's here, I grab these two fingers and I just start going like that all the way. God <laughs> damn it. Jesus like Christ. That's some so porno like, shit right there. It's like you try to unclog a pipe almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something there's some That's hair up there. Did, did, like, did, and did any clothes this, come out of there? Uh, uh, look. <laughs> see. When it's here, I just get these two fingers, stick them in there, uh, like that. How is that? <laughs> Why the worst that finger? looks <laughs> Because see, because see, I'm not like you guys who are all just like on, that's baby. absolutely grotesque, man. Yeah, yeah baby. I don't think any woman would like that. No, I'm the one that goes hardcore. Mm-hmm. I just open it up and just go like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that motion. All right, so Jesus. what happened after you so did chick- that? So do women so anyway, respond dude, well to that? Happens. Yeah, how did, how did she uh, take that? When I'm doing this to her, <laughs> she's all getting red. And like she's feeling it. She's feeling it. Like, uh, you know, like she's all getting wet and everything. Yeah, it's probably saying. blood okay. from you just yeah, man, you're, being you're so like violent. ripping some stuff up, wet, up there. Right? That looks violent. Yeah, that doesn't look safe. How do you know that you were actually in the right hole? <laughs> like if it was so dark, it. maybe you were in the wrong place. Because I feel all the slime coming down. <laughs> oh. Coming down to my fingers. <laughs> by, which is something like you don't know about So that. this girl had slime coming out of her? She sounds okay. classy. Yeah. Yeah, it was slime coming out, you know, it's a little a slime. Chubby that, you know, girl, it's that, just her that, feeling that, right that there. That's all it is. Really good, you know. You know how when we like, like when the girl plays with our AK forty seven, I'm gonna vomit. You come <laughs> out. We'll just come out. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> so what out. happened? Now you need to fast forward the story. What happened after the after you did your like finger thing bang. down there? Finger bang. So after I did my, after I did a little banging. I told her, I said, you know what, girl? Why don't you turn around? Oh. So she turns around. I'm not going to lie to you. So she's she laying on her stomach now? Yeah, she's on her stomach. Right. I, and I ended up just seeing her ass, right? <laughs> so I put this hand on her ass, and I'm rubbing it like that. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm rubbing it like that. I'm like, okay. All right. I'm, you know, I'm just rubbing it. And then all of a sudden, right? Okay. She's laying down like this, and I'm right here next to her, right? <laughs> And her butt cheeks are like right here. So what happened was just like my face is like kind of like not not like this, but kind of like kind of like probably like so you're about three feet, feet away. away, three four feet away. That's, that's yeah. less than three you're feet. on the ground. You're <laughs> kneeling right feet. now. All right, okay. All of a sudden, dude, I, I I start to feel a smell, dude. <laughs> kind of get like a sense of smell, right? So like when I'm rubbing it, I'm like. I'm thinking like it's me. I'm thinking about me. Like I'm thinking about oh man, you know, I probably haven't taken a shower. So. What does it smell like? <laughs> what does it smell like? It smells like fucking shit. <laughs> it smell. That's what it smelled like, dude. Sure it wasn't you, man. Dude. So then, uh, so then when I smell it, right, I grab her fucking cheeks and I open them up. Oh fuck, fucking, man. Her fucking hole, like her 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 hole's like that big, man. Oh, that's like that big, like 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 that big, dude. 
that little hose like that big, and it was red, dude. And it looked like she came out of doing number two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was too dark, she man. Might have had hemorrhoids or something. Did you Did you leave right there? Did you leave right away? Hell no, no, no he no, said, no, "Fuck no, it." No, 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 no. Here's the thing, bona fide. So then I told her, I said, "I said, hey, girl, so like, so like, you ready?" And I said, "She said, yeah." And I said, "You know what, girl? Let me go to the truck and let me go get my uh, protection." You know, so she AK for my AK, my protection for my AK, and she's like, "Oh yeah, whatever, whatever." Like you're gonna leave anyway. No, I said, "Girl, look." So she's probably every time a guy spreads her butt, she probably wants a guy just takes off. No, 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 no. Because you know why? Let me explain to you. I told her, I said, "Baby, I gotta get my protection for my AK." Because Stop I don't want calling it that, dude. Yeah. Jesus, that's not, fucking annoying. Why are you calling it AK, man? <laughs> is it so, Russian? Uh, it's uh, Russian uh, made. Uh, it's listen, so vulgar. <laughs> I told her, I said, I gotta, I gotta protect myself, protect my AK, because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to see calamity or, or get the sniffles. You know what I mean? So anyway, so I stand, so I, I get up, right. And when I'm going down the hallway, I'm going down the hallway like this, Close and all of a sudden, her bathroom door's open. And I'm like, okay, I, so fuck it. So I go inside her bathroom. I go, I walk inside her bathroom. And I notice that on top of the sink, she has three things that I don't like from a woman, dude. Three things, dude. Three freaking things, dude. I noticed that her bathroom was all freaking mess, dude. It, I mean, like, this girl lives like a freaking hoarder, dude. Are there more clothes in there? So anyway, dude, she had like this little big long cone thing, like you know that little that little brush thing that the hair straightener for straight the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it straightens your hair. Yeah, you and then that. like she had like uh, uh, I forgot man what the next one, but the but the main one. You didn't like hair. a toothbrush, I think you said, right? Yes, yes, yes. She had a toothbrush. What do you not like about toothbrushes? I think that's pretty common. Yeah, dude. that's a good that's thing, sick, dude. I don't like how girls leave a toothbrush right there in the middle because that's how you spread germs, man. Where do you put your toothbrush? Oh, shit, man. Okay. I put my toothbrush right here in my drawer, but I but I cover it up. Okay. Okay, that's what I do. It's pretty sanitary okay. of you, Metalhead. And the number one thing that I really hate that Metalhead freaking hates so much, the girl had a freaking box open a freaking tampons dude on that freaking oh, on a freaking shit. seat man which i didn't freaking like man ladies take notes metalhead doesn't like this so <laughs> oh my god with him. That, no 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 you don't understand so then you left right you took off right no no he said fuck it <laughs> he said i'm <laughs> gonna dude. stay in this bitch and there was a there was a roll of toilet paper right there on, on top of the seat so i grabbed the toilet paper and i went back around and i just threw it at her I threw it at her. <laughs> what? I said, hey, girl. I said, when I come back, I said, make sure you wipe your ass clean because <laughs> Big Daddy's going to throw that AK inside of you. This fucking AK He's is messing Russian with us, dude. Made. He's got to be messing with us. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're messing with us, aren't you? No, for real. That's that So then was, did you leave? Yes, I did leave. That's Holy story. shit. So you didn't come back. You just threw it at her and said, wipe your ass. Yep. Okay. That's it. Oh, wow. my gosh. <laughs> Are you dumb? That's your condom, right? His AK, his protection for his AK. Yes. You always got to protect your AK from calamity and the sniffles. <laughs> so are you done with this chat line or what? Because that sounds like a horrific uh, experience you had there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done, dude. I don't know. Nah, like, like I said, it was just, just something just something trying out. Like, you know, I, nah, I don't do that. You know, okay. no. Okay. It's a good story. I did. Yeah, yeah. That, was that was good. That was a home run there, man. You did a good <laughs> job to this time. All right, good man. Story. Hey, we're going to let you go. All right, we got to do the news unless you want to sit on. I don't care. All it's right, up to you. You want to sit, sit in the news? That's cool. I don't care. All right, cool. Say yes or no, dude. <laughs> it's a question. Yes. Hey, there we All go. Right, there there we you go. go. All right, CMFK, you, you got the news pulled up? Yeah. All right, man. So – here we go with the news. So there's a guy in California, right, working out in the gym. And uh, you know those bars, like the ones you do the tricep pull-downs with? Yeah. yeah. The, the ones that look like a V-shape? Yep. Anyways, he saw – it was a, like a real jealous guy, right? So he saw another gym member talking to his girlfriend. Right. Here's the guy right here on the screen. You got it pulled up so they can see it? Mm. 
on there? Uh, yeah, yeah, pull it up so uh, <clears throat> they can see this story. So his name's Kenneth Osako. He's 46. And uh, I don't know, is this a Japanese guy or it what is he? sounds Japanese, yeah, Sako. He looks, he looks like an Asian guy. CMFK is confused. But he... Uh, no, I can't do it. Yeah, you, you did it last time. Yeah. No, but it's you, know, you, you can cover him. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we don't have to see his face. So. Yeah. So, so this guy got so angry, he went and beat this guy with, with that bar to Fucking death in the hell. gym. <laughs> so it turns out, like, the guy had asked his uh, girlfriend out if he wanted to ride on his motorcycle or something. Oh, but he got man. so jealous, he just went and, and, and beat the guy to death. Holy Fuck. crap. There he is. You he see looks him? like a scumbag. What, what kind of girlfriend does this guy have, man? Yeah, jealousy is the worst thing, man. It's it's jealous guys. It seems like. He was at Bally Total Fitness, too, which is like a nice club. Is it? Yeah. I, I don't like Bally's because I went there for when there's free 30-day things. Yeah. And the guy threatened to kick our ass, the trainer. He's like, you, you need to sign up for a year, and then you get the free month. But it was all bullshit. It was like a free week no matter what. <clears throat> hmm. But, yeah, this, this, this guy was so jealous he just beat this guy down at the gym. That's nuts, Jeez. Man. Yeah, that's not good, man. <laughs> what I would, a crazy effing guy. He oh, doesn't look he like doesn't he even works like out. It. Yeah, he looks like a regular Well, we can't show. see the bottom part of him. Yeah, he could be totally jacked. But, but <laughs> jacked, I'm saying bro. like from the neck and the. But traps. usually, he if does look crazy. He does well, look fucking. Nuts. When you're a jealous guy, it's it's like you. That's like your insides showing to the world, like your insecurity. Yeah, right. right. You it's, know, it's like when you the moment you know that somebody's jealous, you know, like they're completely insecure and yeah. they're a pussy. You know, and that's the, the fact that he's hitting the guy with a bar. The like guy's a pussy. Like fucking kill somebody, Jesus. That's he's so angry, but he knows he can't do shit unless he takes a bar. But that's, that's just crazy. so dumb. Well, yeah. Gotta see this. I assume he didn't think he was gonna kill the guy. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. I've never been that jealous. That's that Japanese passion right there. Oh no! If you if <laughs> if you walked in on somebody like having sex with your girl, would you get that jealous and angry? I'd probably just walk out. Dude. Yeah, I'd be the same. I'd be like, all right, this is over. Peace. Yeah, I'm done. Hey, yeah, you you can you can internalize this type of thing, sort it out yourself. With yourself, you yeah. don't have to fucking. Take I walk it out around with a freaking tricep bar, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. So right. here's here's the next story. There's a guy in Wisconsin. Oh my god, this is the worst. And he gets like a hundred uh, orgasms or so a day. Unwanted orgasms. He doesn't want these. Yeah, these. They, they, and and what you what like I noticed. Return them. The, it's called persistent <laughs> genital arousal syndrome. That sucks, man. Oh There's a chick God. like this we talked about on a show before. Wouldn't that too. just feel like you're on drugs all day, like cocaine? Probably or not. You're no, dude. Like, uh, uh, you know how? Uh, I don't know. So after I come, I get like my dick gets really sensitive. I don't want that thing touched. This is good. Yeah, you know and he gets saying? it all the time. And that sucks. I I can only imagine. He, he's not. Sense. He's not. Or he, I don't think he's like ejaculating every time. Oh. He probably runs out of. Yeah, he fluid runs out. Yeah. But if you're doing it all the time, constantly, your body wouldn't even make enough. You like know what he's doing? He's like, oh, pfft. <laughs> 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 oh, pfft. Dust. Well, he said he had Tight nine circles. orgasms while he was in the middle of his dad's funeral looking oh at the casket. Oh, my God. Really? That was like That's the fucking horrifying to him. Does he so have- let me get this straight. So you mean to tell me this guy just stood up at the funeral, walked over there, and when he saw his father in the casket, he's like, oh, oh my God, holy he, shit, my AK is going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said it d- depends on where you're at. If it's a public, you're in front of kids, you're around strangers. Yeah, he's it, like, and it's not it the happens. external stimuli. Oh it's gosh. not like these looking at these kids or looking at his dead dad. No, no, no. He, it on. started just... in 2012. He had a slip disc in his back oh. when he was getting out of a chair. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, and then on the way to the hospital, he started having these orgasms. Which I bet you at first, yeah, at first like, it was probably like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Then you fuck realize, yeah, like right. after like three minutes of it, you're like, oh, it's no fuck, good. this is not good. Yeah. Hey, bona fide. Yo. What if you had a girlfriend like that? We just had orgasms every day. See, if you have like it's like a gen- it's like a gynecologist. Like if you get to look at that part on a woman all day long, then eventually you're so dis- this what is that word desensitized, desensitized to yeah. the to something that should be deemed pretty beautiful, right? And same thing with the orgasm thing. Like an orgasm should be like a really good thing. Looking forward to it. Like yeah. makes your day stress reliever. And then if you just have it all day long, how can you even accomplish anything? You'd be so tired. Yeah. I fall asleep right after I orgasm. <laughs> this guy's probably just, well, just, just napping uh, all day. <laughs> <laughs> 
But but uh, yeah, one right, thing I know, to him, like, uh, <laughs> like what's wrong with you? Uh, just can't. Uh, uh, I just can't. That'd be hard to make friends, man. Thank God I didn't know that. <laughs> well, you said a hundred a day. How many did he get? Like a hundred. That's so. So shitty. if you're only awake for how many hours a day? Sixteen. Sixteen. Right. Right. How then? Let me calculate. How much yeah, you you gotta, get to we gotta sleep, like though. figure this out because sixteen. So can 16 you sleep if you're fucking coming times all day? sixty minutes? Right equals nine hundred sixty divided by divided by a hundred. Okay. So every nine point six minutes. Yeah, that's about like 2,000 bullets that you're throwing out of your AK-47. Yeah, that'd be a torture. Every day. so every 10 minutes he has an orgasm, yeah. one orgasm. You think he? Or, it doesn't say if he that orgasms. Sounds like my day sleeps. off, though, man. Yeah. It's not like the <laughs> orgasms go. Okay, here it is. We're at the 10-minute mark. It was fucking hit. You know, yeah. it's probably like it's like five, and then like a couple minutes go by. Maybe he has a few sweating more. Sweating profusely, like I hope he's gone. Like, he's coming like, back again. Close like, to the bathroom, and like, you know, can you imagine that dude takes a shoot, but. Like, be like, oh shit! <laughs> hey, man, at least you're on oh, the toilet. Oh shit, though, man. man! My fucking bullets are coming out, man! I think it's impossible Holy to take. Shit. Maybe it's impossible to take a shit and have a boner at the same time. You know, like, can I've you? That. No, I, I think you can't. Boner. Was it sneeze and cough at the same time? Yeah, something like that. Okay. I think so. You so can, maybe you can this take guy a shit and have a boner. Has to like plan his shits out. He's like, okay, the wave just passed. I better fucking go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because this is gonna be. Awful. He's got to plan everything around those orgasms. That's true. But I think these guys are full of shit sometimes because they're always on disability. And then when you, you know listen this guy's to cars pulling over the side of the highway like every like couple minutes, like <laughs> you know, like because you don't want to swerve. And I'd be afraid you like probably getting pulled over it, by man. the cops and like they might shoot you because you're like oh, oh, oh like they're all erratic. <laughs> you reach Stop for something. coming, sir. <laughs> sir, cease and desist. Stop coming. <laughs> You reach I for can't, something. Sir, it's gonna explode. <laughs> sir, put the Here. weapon down. Put down your AK. <laughs> it's Here. gonna explode. Him. Here. Here's a video of him. You got on the screen? Oh, this oh, poor, poor bastard. No, oh, he's you know who he looks like? He looks kind of like, like the, the guy uh, in Karate crocodile kid. hunter guy. He looks oh. like the guy oh, in Karate yeah. Kid at the very end, Johnny. The, jo- Sweep the leg. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you poor bastard. Sweep the leg. Hey, Bon. Hey, Dizzle. You want to hear the gossip game? No, man. We're doing the news. This would be Diane so London. uncomfortable having a conversation with this guy. He's he's meeting with the uh, therapist. It's like meet this guy up at a coffee shop, trying to talk to him, get to know him. Yeah, like you How can't you tell when anybody? your joke is funny to this guy because <laughs> he goes, oh. There's <laughs> 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 a little bit of laughing. Just ask you for directions, bro. That's not. Hey, dude, I can imagine, dude, that, like this guy's laying down, and the psychiatrist is telling him, "What your so? Tell me what's your problem." I uh, my problem is oh, holy shit, it's gonna. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, metalhead. <laughs> metalhead. <laughs> hey, metalhead. Thanks for calling, man. No, 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 okay. Here, here he is meet, meeting the psychiatrist. It's. So he doesn't have to have any erections. Destroying every to, part of yeah, everything in my life. Like, when it comes to sexual like issues, oh, he's crying, bro. people get very... Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks like a bullshit cry right there. No, but he's he coming. He looks like a retired not, Backstreet Boy, dude. Look at he does. That's hair, what it is, those frosted tips, yeah. No, but he is... He's, he's, he's orgasming right now, right? Yeah, yeah, watch. Shut up, for real. Put it on. Yeah, he, he's like talking to this psychiatrist, and she's just like, oh, there he goes again. Who is manning this video? Yeah. Oh my god! He looks so distraught in every single one of these. Here we go. Here we go. It's destroying every part of everything in my life. When it comes to sexual issues, people get very. Mm. This is coming. There he goes. <laughs> oh. I've never God. seen anything like that before. There are no words. It's hard to know if it's if it's real. This makes me want to oh find some it's relief. Real. I don't think it's real. He looked like he was completely bullshitting. Like that would that's something I would do to get out of an uncomfortable situation. <laughs> Oh my god! Like whenever I was in uh, <laughs> the podcast, yeah, when I was at convention. podcast movement, if I was having a hard time, like talking to that, uh, um, how do you cure John Lee dumbass just... guy? Like, and shit's going wrong, I'll just go, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm orgasming, John. Oh, it's a bad problem I have. Oh, 
<laughs> but I swear he looks like the crocodile hunter. You know man. how you can cure this? Uh-huh. You put him in the ring with a, like a pro boxer. And, like every time you come, like, <laughs> you get punched in the face. I bet you he'd be like, all right, I'm fucking stopping right now. Like, I can't do it. I'm not or doing Or every time shit. he gets punched, he might just go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> his, his orgasms look like. I wonder uh, how the, what the therapy is. I mean, there's probably no. no I mean, what the hell do you yeah, do? What, do you, what can you do to this guy? Like, because uh, can you shut up? Punch him in the taint. I, no, I think you just put that's this guy on a gay hurt. sex line, dude. Seriously. Yeah. Like then that's he his might career. have. Right, right. I mean, which is nothing bad about being gay, but I'm just saying you would pass pretty fine over there right right right. wait pass the, what would you no like he would pass like just the other become, guy on the line would just talk and yeah. this guy would just have his orgasm oh yeah oh right. Dizzle has the most <laughs> uncomfortable fucking <laughs> orgasm sound in well that's what I've this guy seen. does man look at him look at him <laughs> he's kind of whimpering though and that's yeah play it play it play it oh he kind of flutters oh. his hands like oh like Damn. No, I mean, I guess if that's like the hundredth one, that's yeah, got to get yeah. old like yeah. so fucking right, fast, right. dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, After the first right. one, you're like, hell yeah. If it's but real, I feel really bad for him. If it's like the third or the fourth within like five minutes, and does he have to painful, wear like dude. does he have to wear like diapers or something? Because he's just no, coming he's, in his Dizzle's pants all the time. Dizzle's saying that there's probably nothing left. Yeah, uh, he no, probably that, never comes because every time he does, it's probably this tiny drop. Like dude, the body just created that, that some builds up, man. It's that like a god up, particle, yeah. dude. It's like a hadron collider. <laughs> yeah. Like there's a tiny sperm. There's one sperm. Like just flying. <laughs> it's one. It's a one guy. He's like, help, guys. Like they're like. Maybe that's come. his thing. Every time a sperm like forms, it just <laughs> has to come out. <laughs> so <laughs> he got millions and millions. That's what I'm saying. He's had millions of orgasms. When it gets made, yeah. its little tail tickles him. Yeah, and that, <laughs> that's so what causes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is a weird thing, man. You know, he might, it might be real because I don't know. Have you ever, like, after you have sex, like, after you orgasm, like, you got to pee real bad? It feels like it, but no, you can't pee. Yeah, you can. No, there's, that, that's you get good. that feeling where you feel like you got to pee, but that's you can't. That's if you had to pee before you had the orgasm in the first place. No, 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 no. You pee. I always pee after I come. Yeah, you're that, that's good for you. Yeah. yeah. Or else you get those urinary tract infections, man. Yeah, then you have to drink cranberry juice, and everyone knows that you're having UTIs because you're drinking cranberry. No, I love cranberry juice by itself. Well, you guys probably have a shitload of UTIs. That's why. All right, so here, here's oh, another this is one. Gross. I've seen this God one. Damn it. This chick is, uh, turns out, I think she might be a scam artist. I mean, who would ever guess? But it's a chick. There's She's got a bunch of selfies of her on the internet where she's got three boobs. Oh, gross. They went viral. Uh, you know what? This so does. Supposedly, she got those three boobs because she was tired of being hurt by other guys. So she said, hmm, I'm just going to add another boob so that way guys don't have to flirt with me anymore. Right. But then then they found out that she had reported a prosthetic um, boob stolen from her in her luggage back in early September. But it looks like it's flush with her skin in the picture. Like if it's a prosthetic, yeah, it looks it good. Looks like really good. But uh, then they also have her trying to get a reality show, and and uh, it looks good. Stuff. It's not like one of those uh, Hispanic like hood scoops that you see on random cars. You know, it's like you know what I'm talking about. Like you know, yeah. it's not not a stock hood scoop. Bro, right. It's like stuck stick on you know like stuck it on stickered on there. I tell you what, three boobs like that would not slow me down. I would. She's trying to stop guys. I, I'd be like, oh, cool. Three more boobs. I can. I can touch these things. I would. Hey, uh, this let me ask you. Like, I would enjoy the top part. I would enjoy playing with she's, that. She's no. She but she's like. So the middle one's the fake one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but it, it looks awfully real, man. It looks like she wants people to look though. Like I don't. I don't get it. She doesn't want guys to to hit on her, so she gets three tits, three boob women. She's like fake. flashing them. All over. There we go. Media. It's deemed a fake by TMZ. It's fake. Oh. She she did a police report where she told um, the cops that the three boobs were worth about five thousand dollars. So yeah, oh this is bullshit. Gosh, that's Here dumb, dumb Snopes bitch anyway. Snopes dot com. This might have been the girl you met, Metalhead, with the uh, clothes everywhere. With now, the sh- the sh- now Dizzle, girl. let me ask you: If a girl like that had three boobs, since you say like you would play with three boobs. But let's say she had some humongous ones, man. I mean, like, nice, just like some big humongous ones. Would you play with those? Yes. If, if okay, I okay, showed well, up to a wait, chat line wait, house because and really three I don't get it, Prospect, because you told me a long time ago that you don't like chicks with big humongous boobs. 
Yeah, I don't like oh, giant caught boobs. Caught in a lie, man. But three small ones, yeah, I'll take them. No, 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 no. But I asked you, what if there were three humongous ones? Like, like there were like triple K's. What you kind know? of fucking question is Who the that? fuck wants triple K's? <laughs> All right, Metalhead, man. we're gonna let you go because the show's over, man. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're we're out of here. Triple K's are some racist fucking ass boobs, <laughs> man. All right, Metalhead, we're out of right. here. All right, well, we're. All right, guys, we're out of here. Don't forget to uh, review us on uh, shout out iTunes. To, uh, Hot Pockets, the punk rock chick. I thought you meant the food. I, I promised her. So listen to our show. All right, Hot Pockets, hey, punk hey, rock chick. chick. We're out of here. Peace.